Are we live? We're good? Okay. Well, guys, welcome um, to Off the Rails today. Sponsored by Adam and Eve and HelloFresh. Thank you. We love our sponsors so much. So, so much. Fine. It's cool. Hey, guys, can you not do that right now? I need to address... Leaving my friendships behind. Can you guys just wait till I'm done talking about this? Who's controlling that? Is that Ian? Ian, can you just wait until... Guys, please stop. Just pause it because I, I want to enjoy that, but I can't because I need to address the issue right now. Guys, stop. Why? Do, who's a, Ian, can you turn stop that? Rails. Or Zach, turn off the audio. Thank you. God. You guys are so annoying. Like, I'm trying to do, like... Sorry. Well, it's just so ridiculous because I have this thing I need to talk about and I do want people to watch that. Obviously, I care about it, but it's just so ridiculous that you guys play that. I literally told you guys before the show to wait. Sorry. Until I talk about this thing. Bro, you all so you're not sorry, dude. No, I... I... I Where, you know what, I'm, try I'm trying to help. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I was trying to help, but... I, I was wrong. All right, we'll talk about it later. I don't want to argue on, on air. Okay. So, obviously, um, yesterday, me and Dan had quite... We had... I mean, look, about this. I, I don't want to say fight necessarily. I mean, we did have a disagreement and tensions got a little bit raised. And, um, well, <clears throat> after the show, we were arguing about, I said something about sending shit in a box, which I thought was whatever. Dan th thought it wasn't smart. He didn't like it. And we were yelling at each other. I have the clip. I'll show it to you guys. But, um. So after the show, me and Dan continued the discussion, and I just don't know why. I don't know why Dan sometimes, he just takes shit too seriously. It's like, dude, it's not your ass on the line, it's mine. Just let me tell the jokes I want. You don't have to police me, bro. Well, in Dan's defense, I think he was just concerned for the show. I mean, I'm not trying to... Well, why the fuck would he leave? Why would he quit if he was, like, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, if he cares about the show, why would he quit? Right. Just let... It's like, just let me take responsibility for my own fucking jokes. And then... You don't have to worry about being a stickler and, and then leaving. Anyway, we got in an argument, and I was like, dude, just let it go, dude. Like, just let me be me, you know? And the jokes made him uncomfortable, and he ultimately quit on the spot. Uh, which is really sad. Obviously, Dan has been a part of this show for over five years. He's a lot. I'm trying to get him back. I've been, t I've been reaching out to him. He hasn't been answering. We need him back. I'm, I'm not prepared for this in obviously. any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I think I've already messed up like three times. Yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be a permanent situation for you, A.B. Thank you. Thankfully. Um, I didn't even get to talk about my stupid fucking hair yet, because i got to address this Dan thing. By the way, my hair looks insane, but okay, we'll talk about that later. So, anyway, I've been trying to get back at Dan. He's not taking my calls. And, um... Honestly, there's been stuff festering for a while, like, I don't know, the bom the bombing, the you-know-who one, got... Dan, I don't know, he just takes it so seriously. He's like, Ethan, you have a big influence. You need to be careful with what the fuck you say. I'm not comfortable being part of a show that's, that's advocating for that. And I'm like, dude, just let me tell my jokes, bro. Mm hmm Oh, fuck, it sucks, though, because, like, on one hand... He's so... I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, don't know. I had a line? 
I don't know what to say because yeah, it's like on one hand either. it's like if you're not comfortable with me being myself, then how are you gonna work here? Right. I don't know what to say either because I don't know if he's gonna come back. I don't know. I don't know. You pay my bills. If he but does I'm come not, back, I'm, he's come my on, superior. I'm not for shtick. I want to know what you think. Well, are we gonna look for someone new or like what? Do we have a plan with that? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it yet. I mean, I think probably we need someone else, right? Yeah. I think you should keep trying to get him back. I think so, too. You know, I have never seen him that mad until, like, yeah, on know. the camera's cut on Friday. Oh, he, he was heated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, was he hasn't there. even in our chat. He but how am I going to change? Like, can I change for him? I just don't understand what he wants. Like, I'm trying to get him back, but ultimately, where is he going to go? It's going to go down the same path as before. Yeah. Well, I don't know, really know. I'm going to try. I'll keep trying, and hopefully things will work out. Uh, but if he doesn't come back, obviously that's a huge loss for us, and I'll try to find maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Ian, you want to be in charge? I'm cool. That's just a flat out no. I'll give you a raise. I'm not touching this one, man. Was that a soundbite or Ian? Wait, was that all sound bites? <laughs> Second one was a sound bite. <laughs> Ian, this could be a big opportunity for you, bro. Crickets, nothing? You won't even switch to yourself? You won't even why wouldn't you switch to yourself, Ian? Oh my god, bro. Okay, you're fired. You just lost your candidacy. Alright, well, whatever. We got The show must go on. So here's my curls. I went to Jeff's barber shop. And, um... He wanted to... Basically... He wanted... People were mad that he didn't give me a good haircut. And uh, don't blame him. He wanted to give me a good haircut. And I said, bro, fuck me up as bad as you can. Well, he gave you what you wanted. I said, listen, I've been growing out my hair for you. I'm growing my hair back, people. And he said that this is the first time somebody ever actually let him cut his hair like this. Like, usually the people actually want, like, a decent haircut. This is the craziest one he said he's done. So, I, that's what, people don't want to watch me get a dope haircut. I can do that anywhere, anytime. I'm here to see my shit get fucked. And by the way, he lined me up so good. Like, look at those lines, boy. Like Moses. That's clean as fuck. Yo, look at those fresh lines. I've been trying to cut my hair like this by myself for a gag. And I've never really got it this good. Like, look how fresh that is, bro. I like it, actually. I think it's nice. It's kind of avant-garde, but it is kind of a vibe. It's like that meme yeah. of going to the barber and saying, fuck me up, fam. That's literally yeah. what I told him. He said, what, what kind of haircut do you want? I said, fuck me. I said, Jeff, just fuck my shit up. It's a vibe right now. It is kind of nice, though, dude. It's kind of luxurious. My, cor my curls look kind of dope next to my bald dome. You'll save money on shampoo, too. Which will be good. Yeah, actually, I used my normal amount of shampoo. And then um, it lathered up so much. It was so nice. Nice. And my, my hair actually feels really soft right now. Here is a... Actually, I, my haircut was by Moses, actually, of, uh, from the Torah, the Old Testament there. Yeah. So, thank you to Moses. Yeah, so, um, that'll air. It was fun. It was nice. I'm glad I, I buried the hatchet with Jeff. And, um, and uh, the show was really good. Oh, thank you, Gabriella. She says, losing weight the same time as Ethan has been super helpful. You look great. Lost, you've lost 30 pounds. 10 more to go. Get it, dude. Get after it, girl. What? Oh. Thanks for hey, the fuck? What's up? Uh, yeah, no problem. What's up, everyone? Sorry, so sorry I'm late. Hey. Hey, dude. Sorry, my, my dentist back. appointment ran over. I'm so sorry. What were you doing, like, at the dentist? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the appointment was at 9 a.m., and this dude was just 
lagging. He didn't even come into the room until like 11.30. It's insane. What were you getting? Like a root canal or some shit? Yeah, yeah. And you came here afterwards? That's crazy. I'm bro. dedicated to the show, bro. Holy fuck. I'm dedicated to the show. So, anyways, thanks for covering okay? me, baby. You need some Tylenol or something? Oh, I'm have... juiced up, man. I'm on so many painkillers right now. Okay. Hell yeah, boy. You got any left going spare by chance? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in pain. After the show. I got pain, man. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, welcome back, Dan. We missed you for the 10 minutes you were gone. Everything cool? Everything going good? Yeah, we just started the show without you because... I, yeah, all right, everything's great. So sorry. I know. I, my phone was, like, off because I didn't charge it last night, so I... Uh, I apologize. I apologize. Well, bad. anyway, we are just talking about my new haircut. Yeah, it looks great. I went to Jeffy Boy's, Jeff's Barber Shop. We did a fire ass. I think it'll be fun. That's it. I don't know what else to say. A little bit of a... Uh, I'm getting a lot of Grinch, the or not Grinch, the mayor of Whoville. Definitely, mayor of Whoville. Yo, hook me up. He said, "What kind of haircut you want?" I said, "Yo, hook me up with the mayor of Whoville, son." Yeah, he's got to get rid of that centerpiece, though. It's fucking up the whole vibe, bro. Or or what's the guy's name from Zoolander? Magudo. Ogatu. Ogatu. Magatu. Uh, Zulanda. That Hansel so This one's right more now. like it. This one's kind of almost exactly what I have. Yeah, it's pretty spot on. Because is his also. <laughs> oh, no, his is just parted. Yeah. Yeah, but I could totally rock that Magudo. <laughs> Mr. Magudo. I kind of like it. I'm not even going to hate. Like, I kind of like it, dude. I came home and everyone was shocked at Theodore. Theodore st was about to cry when he saw me. He was like, Aww. when is it going to grow back? When is it going to grow back? Daddy? He did the same thing when Ela dyed her hair Wait. yellow. <laughs> Why is the title Dan Quit the Show? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I don't did you guys clickbait me quitting? I have no idea. You were gone for, right you were late, bro. Yeah, I told you I, I had a no, dentist I appointment. I thought maybe you weren't coming back. We had a fight yesterday on screen, and I thought maybe you weren't coming back. Yeah, it was all good after the show, though. Are you serious? Yeah. No, I was just uh, I was just trying to clickbait people. You probably didn't do it that, that serious, though, right? Like, people weren't buying it? No, nah, people thought no. it was, People knew it was a joke. Yeah, okay, good. Is it working, though? I mean, maybe it works, because yesterday... Okay, but in all seriousness, we did have a... F people were... You know, me and Dan bicker on on uh, on screen all the time. My yes man over there, some fucking yes man. <laughs> More like a no man. More yes. like a no thank you, sir. That's my mandate. Yes. Yeah, here I have a uh, timestamp of us arguing. Although I guess I already did the bit, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, we don't need to retread old yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some funny memes about it, though. Maybe we could look at those. Well, people thought, I mean, like you said, we bicker all the time. It was all good, like, literally 30 seconds later. People, <laughs> people take the drama too far. Cat says, never do that again. Listen, guys, we got you, we got you good. Wait, do you really bait these people? We got you guys good. We fucking did it. <laughs> Ain't nobody breaking us up, right, Dan? Hell no. Sorry? Psych, bitch? Hell no. Just don't be late, or I'll be next time. I'll be Dan died on Dan a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Dan shows up late, we'll just clickbait that he died or quit oh, or left. Gaslight the audience into thinking something He's, horrible. Dan, Dan is in a vegetative state. <laughs> it's not that far off from the ones we've done. Yeah, no. Dan is here to stay. W Dan. W Dan. Ethan, you look like the Lord of the Seventh Circle of Hell. It does kind of look like <laughs> demon horns. <laughs> Finally, my Jew horns are visible. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a vibe. What can I say? Um, where do all the memes go that you guys got collected? Uh, Olivia sent an album in the Discord. Oh, let me resend it. Yeah, there's some good memes here. It's this one here. Let's take a look. So these popped up. This shit cracked me up so Don't hard. send him anything, Dan crying. And then this fucked up mutant. This is Sam's, right? That is Sam's, yeah. What can you send him in the mail that's, Ill that's legal, Dan? <laughs> Where is he? Dan, after the show, after Ethan almost got them canceled multiple times. <laughs> Take up smoking again. 
It's me. That image is great, man. I wonder what actually happened <laughs> to him that day. Oh, it's just those two? Okay. Yeah. There it is. Dan's here, guys. He's not leaving. Are you kidding me? What's Dan going to go do? For real. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Get yelled at by, uh, what's his name? I, I the honey know. boy? Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Oh. True, right. <laughs> right, that was my life prior. Yo, by the way, guys, there's a new Joker brain out there. What do you think about this, Zach? A far more terrifying rendition, I have to say. This motherfucker <laughs> scares me, bro. <sighs> Just imagine your 12 year old waking up. <laughs> oh, dude. And this I'm, face is lurched over you. I'm, I'm over it, dude. I'm, this guy just he ruined it. Did James ruin it? Like everything. James the Joker's ever. cringe now. Yeah. He, you heard he, it here first. He had to just fucking go and do that. So. James, the type of dude to dye his pubes green. Oh. You know what I mean? Bleach them first. <laughs> Bleach them and then get, green. You got to get the color on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if anyone's fucking kids, it's Joker, so he doesn't Let's care. Get you know what I mean? <laughs> so I guess it's on point. I'm just saying. It's just, it's why that angle? Mm -hmm. Why that fucking angle? Because he's looking down at a, at a child. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Socks. This is the last image they see. <laughs> yeah, nasty, bro. Nasty. Jeffrey Dahmer's. Um, here is a take about... What is this? About exercise? Oh, God, I love these. A new one came in that's so good. More dating combos. This, I don't know why. I choose to believe these are all real, Dan. This one's real. Not No, because why has this podcast oh, now become my red flag detector for when looking for men? That's so true, girl. <laughs> it's so true, girly. It's such a sleigh. It is. Thanks, it is. Ben. <laughs> that is so true. To serve boots. It was a sleigh. Thanks. But actually, what's, what's ironic about these guys is that they hate me, and now they're not even getting girlfriends because of me. Right, that's probably going to make them now, double down. Now they talk about how they hate me and the ladies are avoiding them because they know what's up. Check this out. He goes, do you listen to podcasts? I know that was her. Kind of low why. Have you heard of the A Street podcast? She's so smart. <laughs> it legitimately such a smart flag detector. He goes, oh, fuck. This might ruin my chances, but I hate H3 so much. Fuck yes. She says, why? I have my reasons, but yeah, even beyond this podcast, I hate Ethan. Well, for the most part, why I hate him is he said working out is for incels and losers. <laughs> I'm the one getting plowed. Dude, of all the crazy shit I've said on this podcast, it's just incredible to me that a stupid joke about working out, which by the way, I've been doing every day, okay? Because you're an incel loser. That's the game. <laughs> it's just yeah, fucking incredible. He goes, uh, it, working out for incel losers, implying he can get girls. When he met Ela on Israeli-sponsored trip to Israel, which is, for the most part, meant to connect Israeli-born Jewish women with Jewish men. And then he goes, this is my favorite part, I know that probably sounds slightly anti-Semitic. <laughs> Dude, this girl unlocks the perfect gateway into his heart and mind. She's like, do you like H3? He's like, no, I hate Jews, though. <laughs> the Jews? <laughs> I know that sounds slightly anti-Semitic, but that's how he met her. Then he wants to talk shit about people who just care about their health. So I, I, I was kind of untangled that, but I think he, what he's saying is that I could never get a girl unless she was like some Israeli shill that was paid to marry me or something. Correct. That's wild, bro. It seems like this person knows a lot about you, though, which I find interesting. Yeah, but I would say, yeah, that's true, but a lot of people know that stuff about me, no? Fair, yeah. Fallen fan lore. That's like, feel. yeah, yeah, like that's that's fallen fan knowledge. You Dude, never, why? I'm fallen. Why are you like this, bro? You never even said that about working out. No! Too, right? 
How did it turn into working out is for incels and losers? No. Just a stupid joke about how if you tally up every hour working out, will it give you a longer life than not working out? You know, it's kind of even a fun... I refuse to... I, f I will never deny that that's not an interesting thought. Megan Sullivan said, can we finish the intro now, please? Oh. I think they did. I think they did. It was good, oh, by the way. It was really good. Thank you. Funny. Thank you. Yeah, that, that was a full intro. No, it was fun. It was good. Thank you. Uh, Zach, are you wearing a shirt that says goat? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't call him Zach. Actually. Yeah. You can't call him Zach. Whenever yeah. I wear this shirt, I go by Lou. Yeah, he's Lou today. Yeah. And then when that when we're not there. wearing that shirt, we do not know who Lou is. Yeah, we d completely. And and why are you Lou, Lou today? I'm just Lou. Because Lou's the goat, dude. Yeah, Lou. I am goat. Big Lou. Yeah. So. So Z Zach is not the goat. No, Zach, Zach's cool, but Lou's the goat. Okay. And so you can have Zach when I'm not wearing the shirt. And what makes Lou the goat? I just am the goat. You just are. Yeah. Did you see the shirt that he's wearing? Yeah, I. It was. It says goat. Right. Yeah, you can call me Lou. Lou took over my Twitter account. Yeah. Okay. You know, before goat became greatest of all time, I used to whenever I heard goat, I would think of goat at goat C. Oh, like yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, just the a asshole. Giant pro yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, you can call, refer to me as Lou today. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but I'm the goat. Okay, you can be the goat. Okay. I can't guarantee I'm gonna remember to call you Lou. Though. Big Louie Louie. It's a little confusing, Zach. To be fair. Well, it's only when I wear the shirt. So. Yeah, you won't yeah, have to do it all the time. This is confusing. Can we just pick one name, please, and stick with that? Maybe if it said Lou, the shirt said Lou, then maybe well, it would help. Yeah, that would be that would be <laughs> make more sense. Well, Lou means goat, so uh, I'm going bowling later, so right, you know, I'm the goat. Okay, yeah, Roger that. Whatever you say, there, Louie boy. Yes, there you go. Yeah, How hard with thank that. you. There thank it is, you. Lou the goat, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Respect his nouns. <laughs> Whoever the fuck that is. Uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna do Poot Lovato. We're just covering some top of the show business. Oh, by the way, Teddy Fresh, dude, this is a 2XL, and I'm like, this shit does not fit me at all anymore. Like, look how big this shit is. It is baggy. Yeah. And I had to roll up the sleeve, because apparently my- Your arm shrunk, my too. My arm shrunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy how that works. My dick shrunk, too. I don't know. It's crazy. Wow. Well, Everything's shit. shrinking. Wait, isn't, losing weight. isn't that supposed to get bigger when you lose I lost, weight? I lost 20 pounds, but it was yeah, all in my what's dick. Going on. It just keeps getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> Guys, this, uh, this, uh, polo sweatshirt is beautifully crafted. This embroidery is gorgeous. The fabric is lovely. And, um, it'll look even better on a size that fit me. But there it is. Consider a gift for your loved one this holiday season coming up here, eh? You know? Can you believe it's going to be the the holidays already coming around the corner? Man, that's crazy. Yeah, this year flew by. It really did, huh? Good year, though, guys. Yeah. Had a great weird year with you guys. Oh, thank you. What year is it? <laughs> uh, 2022. Almost 23. Yeah, but Bruce is going to be a year old in February. Wow. Damn. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit. He's a good kid, that, that Brucey. Anyway, moving on. Uh, okay, here's one that we've been meaning to watch. Uh, H3 crew as re 80s wrestlers. Actually, Ely even changed her WhatsApp profile <laughs> to the one that they made for her. Yeah, shout out to this. Here's the great memes. Here is Dan looking like <laughs> Dan the Muscle Man Sword Love. Yep. <laughs> it looks real, bro. I, I love it. It's you. Here is me and Hildago. This one e looks a little fucked up. Well, it says Ethan the Wife Guy. You see the titles at the top? Ethan the Wife Guy and Ela the Bad Mama. <laughs> I'm not a wife guy. You well, it, it's just that. your wrestler persona. That's a bullshit wrestling persona. Well, they gave you a few options here to choose from. Zach Why the Thrasher Lewis. Life? Shout out, uh, Macho Man Randy. Wait, that's why you're Lou? What? Your last name's Lewis. Yeah. That's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> but it's my alter ego, Lou. Yeah, you right. Put it, yeah. But when I put the shirt on, like, you know, Lou steps it's out. It's like my superhero outfit. Yeah. I'm Lou. Yeah. Alrighty. 
<laughs> oh, Lena, interesting. Okay, Splay. Lena the Blue Bolt. <laughs> wow, I look so much like my mom in there. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's... Yeah, you do. <laughs> this is Ela's new profile pic on right. What's Out. Ela, step on me, Mommy Klein. <laughs> This is Love the Lightning Bolt. This one's crazy. Like, I barely recognize it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Olivia, the Red Champ. Mm-hmm. That one looks super real. Ian, okay. <laughs> the Vicious. Mm-hmm. He has a massive penis. Thoughts on this, Ian? Uh, it's great. Zach nailed it with the soundbite. Was that a soundbite or? He has a massive penis. Do you have a massive penis? I mean, why would you say that about yourself, a little bizarre? Danask. Um, Sam. Okay. Dark storm. Okay. <laughs> Dark storm. AB. Now this is a. <laughs> this is my favorite one. <laughs> this is the AB. <laughs> The Cobra Charmer. What do we think, AB? I think they used an edited photo of me because one fucking no! guy is bigger than the other. <laughs> like way bigger. Yeah. Looks the f looks fine to me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Gabe, yes! <laughs> As Andre the Giant, Gabe the Immortal. This is everything to me. <laughs> yes. How you doing? <laughs> this is are like pretty high level of photoshops, aren't they, Cam? Yeah, I think it's face app, but yeah, it's great. Oh, it's just a face app? Fuck. I th they might do some retouching afterwards. Ethan Pretty Boy Klein. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Tiny hand. And then who the fuck is this? Oh, that's ABC. I couldn't even tell. that. Th this one. I'll take that one. Not as funny, but I'll take it. But does that look like you? Or is that Oh, I, I look more like the fucked up eye one? <laughs> well, I saw you. I, no offense, <laughs> but I saw you more in that one than this one. Yeah, because you've been seeing that fucking photo everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is, of course, me and Zach. And pull my team. finger, boys. There we go, dude. Pull my finger. Pull my finger. Sorry, excuse me. This is Hassan, <laughs> the small head Viking. And uh, this is Cam and Love, the greatest <laughs> tag team ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. We look like we should not be allowed near a school like that. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be opposed to that. Another Cam and Love. I like this one. That's my favorite. This one's better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind that one. <laughs> oh, this is good. The leftover. Yeah, it's really good. Yo, is his head really that small? Like, it looks like it got a tiny head. <laughs> it is very small, man. And there it is. The ultimate FUPA slam spectacular podcast LXIX, whatever that number is. 69. Oh, Vryfo. Think of it a gifted. KMR. KMR5, get thank you for gifted. Sarah G, thank you for the get. Get, get. <laughs> By the way, speaking of Ninja, we keep having um back and forth with him. Excuse me. He mentioned us again on his stream yesterday, and things are just heating up. This friendship is blossoming, and um, things are moving fast, and I like that. Here's Ninja. Have a great day, man. Thank you for the 999. See, appreciate it. Johnny said, please go on the H3 podcast. God, nobody can beat him. <laughs> nobody can touch his sub thank yous. Lena, thank you for the gifted. I need to step it up, man. Zach, thank you for the gifted. 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 Thank you for the Such a legend, dude. Nobody does it like him. Ian Slater, thank you for the great day, man. Thank you for the 999. See, appreciate it. Johnny said, please go on the H3 podcast, man. Yeah, I know. I'm going to respond soon to Ethan. Just been busy. Thanks, bro. Take your time, Flavor. Take your time, Flair. You're ninja. You're busy, man, dude. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh fucking ground shaking. Woo! <sighs> We're waiting for you, ninja. This is your home now. <laughs> this is a safe place for ninja. This is where you belong. Like, Ninja will always feel safe yeah. and loved here. Ninja mm -hmm. safe space. He's, He's the only one, by the way. <laughs> for everyone else, this is a war zone.
my home. Um, yo, this is fucked up. You guys are going to be pissed off as me about this one. Markiplier, we talked about Milkiplier on the last episode. And somebody dug up this clip Milk. of him uh, on his no, bullshit podcast. By the way, did he ever get number one? On He's number one on Spotify. Oh, he did he pass never, Rogan? He, last I looked, he was still behind Rogan. Yeah, we, we, were, we did a slight goofing on Mark uh, the other... Was that on Monday? Yeah. yeah. Because uh, he said he'll start an OnlyFans if sure people enough. can spam his shit enough to get him at the top of the podcast charts. I don't know that he succeeded, which is kind of embarrassing for him after he like debased himself to such degrading levels. Let's see. Oh, he's number one on Spotify. Number nine on Apple. That's it, bro? By the way, this list is such bullshit. I was looking at it. Tulsi Gabbard show? Nobody's watching that shit. Are you kidding me? Rachel Maddow? Are you fucking kidding me? Am I right? Nobody's listening to Tulsi Gabbard podcast. I mean, nah. is. somebody is, but... Who? <laughs> the the Tulsi stands. The ones with the little... Hawaiian flowers in their Twitter handle, you know? The Yo Gabba Gabberts. Yeah. <laughs> the Tulsi Tels, Tots. Yeah. The Tulsi Tots. Fucking Jay Shetty's ass is on here. Yo! <laughs> on oh, you purpose. <laughs> One day Shetty we're gonna, again. We're going to have to get that guy in the show someday. We have to. And I'm just going to be like, who the fuck are you, bro? <laughs> I don't know anything about you, but you are the bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're even on this one. On Spotify? Yeah, doubt it. Yeah, you because you have to actually go to the surveys, which is the real. Um, that's where you really find out. Well, ninety percent of our viewers are on YouTube. You know, this is purely audio numbers. It's embarrassing to be on this list. Cringe. <laughs> uh, are we on this though? I'm desperate to find so out. No, fuck. Embarrassing. Look at number eighty-seven. What the fuck's going on there? Why are we not on this list? It's so fucking bullshit, dude. Yeah, I saw that. The funny TikToks is a podcast that has more views than us with a minion or not a minion, a fucking Among Us. Among Us. Dumbass podcast. Dude, I'm about to drop I'm about to drop my dick pic. I threatened you all yet on Monday. And I am not even on this list in the one hundred. You fucks. You're about to see my prolapse anus. Hi, I'm Dick Tip. Now get on there. Go to Best Buy. Go to Apple, wherever the fuck you have to do it, and just stream this on all of them. Pissed off. You, Best Jay Buy? said he's number 15, bro. Dude, how? Best Buy has a chart? I know, but I'm just saying they have a bunch of computers there. Oh, just go everywhere? Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> just open it on all the computers. Go to fucking... The phones, too. The phones, too. Yeah, go to Apple. Yes. Circuit City, are they still in business? Uh, they have not been for about 20 years. <laughs> 20 years? Really? It's, I think it's been like close to that long. I went long. to a, a, a liquidation sale for Circuit City. Yeah. I used to love Circuit City. That was my favorite spot. I was always a, a Fry's boy, but Fry's is gone now too. Fry's is gone? Rip to the goat. Rip to, rip to the actual goat, my dude. Fry's is gone? When what did that happen? What are these things? Oh, you fries never heard of Fry's? No. It's like an electronic superstore. Oh, never. Circuit City was like an old back in the day. Yeah. Mm. Fries was uh, regional though, so I think only people on the West Coast know what Fries is. Circus City was. There's a fry. No, there's a Fries in the Valley. We had Woodland it in Georgia. I, I meant a little bit further east than the Valley. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, <coughs> the Western United States is where Fries were. Right, because yeah. Anywhere in In-N-Out Burgers, there's a Fries. Wait, when did Fries? That's go how LA you are. It's like off the coast. Oh, so you mean the Valley? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's where the that's where the border ends. In my fries was uh, 2021, I think. Yeah, it just Whoa. it just went out of business very recently. Yeah, but if you go in one of those, it's kind of mystified. Like they have the biggest fucking buildings you've ever seen. I'm seeing people say it was in uh, Texas. Yeah, I think I guess maybe just not all the way. Oh, fries was in Georgia. Okay, maybe Until it gets hot I thought it was Texas. just like the Southwest, but maybe it was. Yeah, but East anyway, Coast. guys, like listen. Come on, y'all. Please, just get me on this list. I guess Fry's is gone. Circuit City's gone. Apple, you can still go open on all the phones. 
Best Buy is still open. I don't know how Best Buy is they're sold in. Please. Is there any other stores that people can go? Um, here in LA, most of like the tobacco shops um, also do tobacco iPhone screen shop. repairs. So maybe they have a bunch of, uh, mm. you know, oh, that's like a little bodega action. Uh, you yeah. break <laughs> you break I and bong, yeah, exactly. and bong supply. <laughs> I've been. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys have any ideas, if you want to go have streaming parties at Best Buy, or you want me to help collaborate, uh, uh, organize that, just let me know, because we need to get on this fucking list. Fuck Tulsi Gabbard, bro. Why is she number three? She's not sponsored by Adam and Eve. She, she dreams of that. Yeah. The only person she's sponsored by is Vladimir Putin. Am I right, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> she's on the payroll, dude. Freaking dumb. She is, bro. Fuck her. Freaking lib dumb. Yeah, so anyway, Mark, so... Here, show me the podcast on uh, on iTunes, the iTunes top chart. One sec. Yeah, let's see if you got there, Mark. Dude literally said, I'll show you my dick, and they couldn't even get his ass to number one. L. <laughs> thank you for the gifted. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jay Phillip, thank you for the gifted. Uh, Josh, thank you for the gifted. Did. It's <laughs> a gifted from uh, and a happy birthday Freddy, shout out to Freddy Katie. Freddie gifted from Ted. Gifted. Happy birthday, Katie. It's her twenty-first birthday. Zach, you know what to do. Twenty-first. Twenty-one. I'm twenty-one. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So here's the uh, the iTunes one. Let's take a look here. He's number. Let's see. This is Spotify, Apple, all podcasts. Uh, this has all of them here. Wait, what? This can't be right. Number nine. He's number nine on Apple. App. Wait, why is Rachel Maddow number one? That doesn't make. Oh, Joe Rogan's not on it anymore, right? That's right. That's crazy. Okay, okay. I see. So Rachel Maddow has that. That doesn't make any sense. Nobody even likes her. Does that make sister sense? I mean, I don't think that's true. I, I don't. I books. personally, I don't. I don't really know care one her, person that likes Rachel Maddow. Well, there's, there's, there's Howard no, Stern. Other people out there. Not that many people. I've met her. <laughs> you I met her? her during the election. Yeah. I'd watch her at lunchtime. There was an NAACP dinner where her and my dad were awarded the same night. Oh, but this was a long time ago. I don't know. Thanks. Yeah, I think a lot of boomers like Rachel. Okay, listen, Mark. Your ass has already dropped two spots. You couldn't even surpass Rachel fucking Maddow presents. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Are we on this though, by the way? Let's see. Again, this is streaming numbers, so don't feel bad, guys. We don't belong on this list. We're too good for lists like these. We're so much more than this. Yo, she's got the top and bottom spots. Chill, That's Rachel. Sick. Save some spots for the for the rest of us. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't see it. So, guys, come on. What are we doing here? Anyway, Mark failed. Loser, L. Um, L. But here he is. Somebody dug this up, I guess, because we were talking about him. This podcast actually is from June. Something like that this past summer. But he's talking about how he muted me on Twitter. Okay? It was in June this year. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even cut that? You never know, man. There's a one in twelve chance he could use it. He's Bro, got, the, this, he's got this... the entire English dictionary. Jordan Peterson sound bites. He can create anything at this point. Yo, what's here? Love sent this. I bet they don't have oh, these yeah, views. But wait, you got to include our YouTube views too, which is usually like twenty million a month. Oh, oh, I, yeah, something like that. These are the ones I do. So, I like Good. to track them. Bro, we're we're juicing over on yeah. TikTok, Instagram, Shorts, shit. We're juicing, boy. Shit. shit. They got nothing on us. Anyway, here's Mark, who started World War uh, Three with me. Uh, no, but the most uncomfortable thing I've ever saw on Twitter was it was a tweet from Ethan Klein of H three H three, and I'm I'm sorry for everyone that is reminded of this tweet, but it really existed, which was a GIF, and he said uh, every time Ela is ovulating, and it was a GIF of someone filling donuts. I think Boston cream donuts. I'm just like, oh, why, why, Ooh. why would you do this? Why? And I'm just like, uh, Ethan just wanted everyone to know he's hitting that. And man, he has been muted ever since. <laughs> 
you look like my god. Anyway, I just wanted to remind everyone Soft. else that I had to witness that. Soft. I wonder how many donuts were bought on that day because of that post. <laughs> Probably not many. You know, I didn't go. I didn't look at that and was like, boy, howdy. I want a Boston cream donut right now. Why? Donuts okay, are dude. That's the worst thing you've seen on Twitter. By the way, so when I first saw this, I was like, there's no fucking way I ever tweeted that. <laughs> Even immediately was insistent in our group chat. He's like, I never said that. I never tweeted that. I denied it all the way. And all of us were like, uh, we remember that, actually. That's and then my, I so, went and so, looked and... So if it, if you guys remember, I guess it did have an impact on you. I yeah. Rem it was before I worked for you. I remembered it. Was it pretty nasty? It was, no, it was just like, oh, I'm gonna think about it for a minute. Oh, bro. <laughs> but I'm I think, everywhere. okay, I'm so... Okay. So I was like, that's disgusting. He's right. But when I saw the tweet, I was like, no, this actually is funny. Yeah, I thought it was pretty PG. He tapped out early. He missed the pesto and the prolapses and all that. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, you've, you've tweeted way worse yeah. shit. Yeah. Bro, are you even on TikTok? Do you know anything about Howie Mandel, dude? Ugh. I think what happened here, he made it sound worse, in my opinion, although he described it relatively perfectly. Um, <laughs> this clip was going viral. <laughs> Elo says, I remember it. <laughs> oh, she's here. Yeah, she's in the chat. We were talking about, like, our fertility issues and stuff, so I wasn't trying to be like, yo, I'm hitting it. I was just making a joke, obviously. That's so disgusting, though. Like, the video itself is disgusting, not what I said. Well, that the video made me kind of hungry. Bad donut, okay? And so I said when Ela's ovulating, which is, yeah, pretty nasty, but it's not that bad, Mark, right? <laughs> I mean, you're gearing up to show your dick. What's the big deal? Man, how prude are you? You're showing your fucking dick, bro. Or actually, you're not showing your dick because your fans failed to get you to number one. Come. Loser L. Dumb. So, <laughs> so I'm muted on, uh, on, on uh, Twitter by Mark there. Shame. Bro, what's the big deal? This is the worst thing you've seen. Shame. Fucking pussy. Someone said, Shame. Ethan dodging accountability. What do you want me to say? It's a fucking joke about filling up donuts. It's gross. I agree. It's gross. That's the joke. I don't <laughs> know. Accountability. You, you, I know. What are you talking about? <laughs> you replied the next day, and you said, I'm so sorry. This is really disgusting. Oh, were people angry at me? <laughs> yeah. I said, this is so... Uh, <laughs> God, I don't remember it at all. Shit. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take- this is why I don't- I'm not on Twitter anymore, by the way. Well, I mean, you are on Twitter, but you use it Twitter's less, I guess. Twitter's a rat hole. I, I miss like, these kinds of tweets, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently I lost Mark, you know, good friend of mine, good guy. Now I'm on mute. At least it wasn't an unfollow. It was just a mute. Yeah, just a mute. It's okay. not that harsh. Yeah, if he knew- he knows if he unfollowed me, war. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I hate when people get angry about unfollowing on Twitter. It's so stupid, like, bro. You're not entitled to me to follow you forever. I literally have gotten into beefs because I unfollowed on pe people on Twitter because they're annoying on Twitter. Again, I don't follow the guy. Anything for views. That guy got so fucking pissed at me because I unfollowed him on Twitter because his tweets were annoying me. That's it. What do, what do you want? That's a I long think time he literally ago. Posts, he posts his ball sack on Twitter, I That's think. A, so, you know what I mean, Mark? Give me a break. <laughs> you want to see a, you want to see something gross? I'll t I shit green, bruh, and I posted that <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is nothing, man. Uh, all right, um, we are at a uh, break time. Let's do a poll. Is this was Mark right to mute me? Yes or no? Was Mark right to mute Ethan for this tweet? Yes, no. Yeah, but you know, you put, you put yourself out there, it's a Ask little bit of a community. risky joke, I guess you could say. And then you're losing friends all of a sudden, you know? I don't think it was that harmful. I think it was harmless. It's, you know, the w w craziest thing he's seen on Twitter. <laughs> okay, well. 45% say yes, that's a lot. <laughs> But the majority knows have it, Mark, you fucking prude. They do. Oh, well, I was so offended. Anyway, here's my cock. If you, anyway, I was so offended by this safe for work gif. Anyway, 
if you can get me to number one, I'll show you my dick and balls. Oh, that Color, gets dude. my dick hard. How dare you, Ethan? Take a look at my shaven asshole. How dare you? My name is Markiplier, and I will show you a prolapse if you get me to number one. Ow. Okay, Mark. Uh, unmute me, dude. <laughs> he should unmute me, don't you guys think? Should he unmute me? Yes or no? Mute Iplier. Yes. Mute Iplier. We gotta get, we need to resolve this. This is fucked up. <laughs> Because I actually hit him up recently, like, uh, I don't know, a few months ago, asking if he wanted to come back on the pod, because I hadn't talked to him in a while. He ghosted me. Well, now we know why. But I think you still get notified if you get a DM, even if you Yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. So that was like, he's over me, bro, because of this cream pie shit. Come on, bro. How are you going to mute me over some cream pie bullshit? It's because I nut in my wife when I'm trying to get her pregnant. Oh, how does pregnancy work, Mark? I don't fucking know. What do you think's happening when I'm talking about fertility issues, bro? Is my fertility issues not in important to you? Sex. I'm trying to talk about something that's like good pu for the public good. Sex. Trying to bring fantasies. awareness to a really taboo, hard to talk about subject, and you're gonna mute me because I cream pie my wife? <laughs> what a fucking asshole, bro. <laughs> That's a non darn good bapa bye. It's just darn ridiculous, bro. <laughs> oh, we're doing memes about me doing polls. We can do one more poll and then we can go. Guys, let's do one more poll and then we'll go. Uh, relax. Just want to take some pictures. Should he unmute me? Yes or no? Chill, Lou. Thank you for this gifted. Sprickle. Sprickle dicks. Thank you for the gifted. Ten gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Yeah, as we, um, <laughs> as we set this poll up, I want to thank everyone for their support on the See You Next Tuesday Members Only podcast. Uh, it was really nice. Just, I love, you know, reading the comments, and uh, there's a great community there. I did the motivational one, and, and the comments were, were lovely, so thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Yeah, we're at 80% Mark should unmute me, so... Legally, he has to. The cream pie's in your corner, Mark. <laughs> I'm handing you the bag of cream, and I'm offering you a donut. Do you fill the donut, or don't you fill the donut? Suck a fat donut, okay? All right. Let's do our sponsors. <laughs> this is me right now, so chill. <laughs> Mark. Why did you block me? <laughs> it's me. It's me. Mark, it's me. Why did you unmatch me? Yeah, oh, it's dude, Ugh. what's a cream pie? Shut up! You're about to show your dick, bro, in exchange for goods. He's basically... Not that there's anything wrong with it, but he's exchanging sexual deeds for goods. I felt that no, uh, like, that just based on what they told me. <laughs> there's no way he shows his dick and balls, though, right? He he's, he said I'll make a OnlyFans if you get me number one. That means dick he, and balls, brother. No. He said the words tasteful nudes. He already has Wait, done that. Well, that's it's what I'm. Bullshit, I feel like bro. when I hear nude attached to tasteful, that still means dick. Yeah. Yeah. If he didn't, he didn't do that last time, though. Right. So no I think he needs Hi, to. I'm dick tip. I tell you what, bro. Clarify. If he didn't show dick and balls for that. I think his fans would be pissed. I would be pissed. He needs full dongage, man. It doesn't That's have to it. be erect, but like, no. if tasteful. I was him, I'd at least go semi chub just for me tasteful. To look good. Right, right, right. You have a little, little bow tie on it. He's got to hang. Little tux. He's got to hang it out, man. Because you don't want to do, you don't want to go out there fully, fully flaccid. No, you still want it to be tasteful, but you want dong, dude. Yeah, because fully flaccid don't look good on any man. Dong eye plier. Dong eye plier. All right. Thank you, Mark. The, ball, the cream pie's in your corner. Fill it up or don't, bitch. <laughs> <sighs> so angry about that. Thank you to our lovely sponsors, folks. An old friend of the show is back, Adam and Eve. 
They're my favorite e-commerce website. Love e-commerce. They specialize in e-commerce, adamandeve.com. They have a website where they sell stuff. Commerce, commerce, people selling stuff, people buying stuff. Import export kind of stuff, you know, adamandeve.com. And the import export business. They happen to have um, all kinds of, of, of uh, commerce there. Sleigh toys, yes, sleigh toys. Toys, I mean, and not the not the type of, not like race cars, you know, you know what I'm saying? One could say it's maybe the type of toys that a grown-up would enjoy. So An adult toy. True. Right. But it's mostly, it's, I'm just want to make it clear. It's a commerce website. Just doing commerce. They don't do like P word there at all. It's literally commerce. Right? Yeah. And actually, if you go to yeah. adamandeve.com, they're going to give you 50% off almost any item plus free shipping. That's an absolutely insane offer. Oh, miss you. Use the code H3 at checkout to get the offer. 50% off almost any item plus free shipping. 50% off? Bro, that's insane. And free shipping. It's kind of nuts. You don't even have nuts. to think about it. How are they even making money? I don't know. Giving it out. Not our problem. But the link in the description is there. Guys, go ahead and visit adamandeve.com. Code H3, almost 50% off almost every dang thing. Free shipping. My favorite e-commerce website. Mm-hmm. We love e-commerce. I'm into e-commerce. I have an e-commerce website. You do indeed. Love it. And uh, next up, thank you to HelloFresh. My goodness, everybody's favorite. Food. All Fooper Troopers love HelloFresh. It's basically a cult at this point. We love HelloFresh. The pictures we get from Fooper Troopers are delectable, delightful, Delect delicious looking, nutritious. Let's take a look. Dude, some of this shit looks so freaking good. Damn. Here's what HelloFresh does. They deliver you a box of iced out fresh ingredients straight garden to table um they give you the exact amount you need to cook the meal so you don't have to there's no waste and actually what that ends up doing is it ends up saving you a lot of money it's actually cheaper than going out it's even cheaper than grocery store shopping because you don't have to buy like a whole fucking old school barrels you know like the barrels they rode in the hobbit what do you call that just a barrel, a wooden barrel. Like a, like a wine barrel, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't have to buy a whole one of those full of carrots just for one carrot, you know what I mean? Right. Oh, you mean like a pallet? No, he means a barrel. No, no, not a pallet. A barrel. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually cheaper than grocery store, but it's a hell of a lot more convenient. And what's great is the meals are so good, super healthy, super balanced, and you cook them yourself, but it's foolproof. They send you an instruction card. They tell you exactly how to cook it. They tell you about the, that one's AB made that. That's yours, right? That's right. That looks so good. How was it? Oh, I'm sorry. The burger? No, the burger is not mine. But Wait, I, what? I, you I, took a photo like I did like make that. the same one, though. But yeah, that's not It mine. was the same item, but that, that one was from a fan. Yes. Oh, crazy. How was it, though? It was great. Yeah. Really good. See how clear the instructions are? Both burgers turned out beautifully. Interesting. Yeah, that's that. interesting. yeah true. Yeah, um, yeah, the card tells you about the food, tells you how to cook it in a way, like, it's good for beginners and experts alike. It's just fun. Uh, Here's one you made, Abby. I love it, man. I really love it. Subscribe to HelloFresh and check save money off your fall to-do list. HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than the grocery store. Said that. Oh, HelloFresh now offers vegan recipes on the menu every week, made without animal products of any kind like dairy, meat, eggs, or honey. Enjoy meals like sweet chili tofu bowls or spicy coconut curry stir-fry. Guys, here's where it gets good. This offer. Hell, go to HelloFresh.com slash H... Uh, Hello, HelloFresh.com slash 65H3. I swear to God it was H3. It was. What? Why did they do this? I don't know. <laughs> they switched them for no reason. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Just click the link in the description if you're confused, but 
HelloFresh.com slash 65H3 and use the code 65H3 for 65% off plus free shipping. Come on. I actually had it the wrong way around the description, too. So oh, thank you. Yeah. I just flipped it around. Shit. Well, it's kind of hard. Come on. Can we just stick with one, guys? <laughs> Well, luckily, the food is consistently delicious, yes. unlike the promo code, <laughs> which is delicious, just not consistent. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 65H3 and use code 65H3 for 65% off plus free shipping. America's number one meal kit. It's HelloFresh, and we love them. Thank you. Absolutely. Ooh. Absolutely love them. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Come on. Come on with that one. Ow! Oh, so there's another thing I want to touch on real fast. George Floyd's family is suing Kanye for $250 million because of his interview on Drink Champs where he said George Floyd died of fentanyl and drug overdose and not because of the cop that on video uh, before all of our eyes uh, dug his knee. It didn't that motherfucker go to jail? Like, isn't he in jail? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, dude, he's been convicted. Mm-hmm. He's serving time. He's in jail, and he's out here talking about how it, that guy's innocent. How more depraved can you be? What a freak. Yeah, so his, uh, they're suing him, and, I mean, it's interesting. It's kind of reminding me of the Alex Jones things a little bit where you're spouting off these conspiracy theories. Right. It's less, it's less, I think, less damaging. I mean, Alex Jones uh, followers, you know, mass harass those families. Uh, I, I don't know if anything like that has happened. It probably hasn't even been long enough for I mean, they, they, they might be able to prove that they're being harassed by Kanye fans. Yeah. Although I don't think Kanye's the difference was like Alex Jones was accusing the parents of participating in this right. giant conspiracy. So there's no lawsuit filed, and I was reading up some legal opinions about this, and at least at least the way these articles are written about suing for defamation, it seemed like that was well, not likely sue. to be. You right. can't you, sue for defamation because he's dead. You exactly. have to sue for something else. Right. And also, I think the fact that uh, Kanye so consistently says crazy ass shit and has for years even though obviously it's Alex Jones. escalated quite a bit well yeah that's true so is Alex Jones but I, don't I think know. the difference here is that he's not accusing his family of participating in a cover up mm-hmm. he said they're using the family so I think that's probably going to cover his ass but he's still a piece of shit for sure fuck this guy no Kanye, bro. There. what is wrong with this man dude a lot. When's Balenciaga going to ask him to stop wearing his sh- their shit, by the way? Balenciaga did, right? and the Jews, what? I think they did come out and we're talking about dropping him, right? Balenciaga. Oh, no, that, no that, I think that was Adidas. 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 Yeah. Really? I don't hmm. think he's associated with uh, Balenciaga. He just wears their shit. I think. I don't know. Oh, one other really incredible revelation before we move on to our Poot of Lovato PowerPoint presentation is we've talked a lot about gambling on Twitch. It was recently banned, as you guys remember. And Trainwreck, I have come out and basically proclaimed that he's the biggest piece of shit in the world. This guy is... uh, He really is a lowlife man. He's been basically the biggest person gambling. He has told us that he makes a million a month. And he is always telling his fans that he's losing money. He goes, I'm losing money, guys. Don't gamble. Here he comes out and says this. Now, tell me what you guys think about this. Listen, dickheads. <laughs> First of all, listen. You know what? Here, here's what I'll do. Coke, I got you. Don't me trip. You want some uh, news to forget about everything you're talking about? Here you go. I'll release what I got paid since the beginning of my contract. I've been paid $360 million for 16 months of gambling. 
There you go. There is the information that will get you off the topic of hating poke. Wait, is that really? That's Are really hate yes. Now your clip's gonna go viral. Everyone thinks I'm hate they're hating on me. Oh, shit. Yeah, now you made it worse. No one's hating. They're just... <laughs> <laughs> Now you there you go. I want to know more about the car 98 first. Yo, buy me it's a house, released, bro. It's done. 360 million. There you go, dumb fucks. Yo. I could buy Hassan, Pokey, and Ludwig all together and sell them and buy them again. Fucking pussies. You do that to me so much more than I can. I'm Fucking pussies. They don't even like sell their soul and all their fans out. Okay, first of all, again, <laughs> this guy's the worst person in the world. He is literally a villain. How are you going to call them pussies for not exploiting their fans? Fucking pussies, broke idiots. Pussy? First of all, do you believe this? Three hundred and sixty million. That would make him like one of the richest people in the country. Like top two fifty potentially. That's a little fucky, don't you think? Seems. Seems hard to believe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. How much of I that was it... immediately fed back into them, though? Like, yeah, he was paid 360 million. He says because we've always he been saying he was playing, Yeah, he was gambling with house money, which he always vehemently denied. But, okay, well, well mean, regardless of if so, that's 22 and a half million dollars a month for 16 months. He posted a tweet uh, like within the last half hour addressing it. Maybe give you guys some context. I, I think that's like his income, and then he has like expenses, which is gambling it for promotion. All right. So, Okay, but that's not his net profit. Yeah. Okay, but like, even if he lost a couple million a month, it's really a negligible amount. Well, he loses probably a mil per day, a cup like so. Over time, I think that kind of adds up to at least half. There's no fucking still... shot he loses a million a day. No, uh, he. Okay. I don't know. I, I mean, on the stream, he does. Yeah, every bet is like tens of thousands of dollars, and it only yeah. takes a few seconds. You well, he, he was getting, easily. according to him, he was getting $22.5 million a month, okay? So that would basically, he wouldn't really, oh, someone said there's 600 plus billionaires in the U.S., so it would be in the thousandth uh, area there in terms of how wealthy he is, but I just love how he's such a piece of shit. He really has no morals at all. By the way, the IRS is going to have some questions about that 360. I wonder if he's been uh, declaring all that. He better be. Goddamn, that's a lot of money to fuck around with. But just imagine how much money his fans are losing. Can you imagine? Yeah, I mean, if that is true, if we just take it at face value then you have to extrapolate that Stake is making significantly more money off of that, off of the amount of people that he's directing their way. Dude, how many Otherwise fucking lives sense. have you ruined? Like, literally, just you took all your fans and you grabbed them by the, by the feet and just yanked them upside down, bro. Tell me, how many active fans do you think he has, love? Like viewers? Yeah, just active. How many fans are out there that regularly watch Train? Well, he has he regularly has 30K, so probably 100,000, because those viewers, like, rotate, right? Sure. So right. 100? So Two. let's say okay. 360 million divided by 100,000. Let's see how much per... So per viewer, on average, he cost them... Or he made $3,600 off every viewer, on average. Actually, I believe that um, lifetime earnings on gambling is really high, obviously, because it's super addictive. And people get sucked in super easily. There it is, man. And watch how he's trying to spin it, too. He's on Twitter responding to people talking about it. Yeah, so he tweeted this tweet longer. He opened it up, and it just leads to a YouTube link, which leads to the end of the dark night when... Uh yeah, Morgan Freeman's walking away as this blows up. Oh, yeah. God. What, he's like escaping steak? Like, a steak is the bat cave? Uh, I don't know. They, I think today is when they officially enforced the apology. Uh, apology, what the fuck? The policy on Twitch. So maybe this is him just setting things on fire before he leaves. I don't know. Before he stops streaming it. 
at Bro, the Joker Church. Please tell me the IRS is investigating this. He's in Canada. Yeah, but he made a lot of that money in America. It's their business. He only recently moved to Canada, I thought. I mean, it was like a year ago now, but I mean, yeah. He was doing it at one point in America, you're right. Um, Joker, oh, God. Yeah. I almost just died of cringe right there. That was yeah. brutal. You're a fucking pussy, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> where was the one... I saw a response where he was like, actually, I was doing good for people. You guys gotta watch this. <laughs> this guy's such a deluded freak. Actually, the biggest, biggest piece of shit. Um... Somebody said Canada has IRS too. Do they have? It's probably called something different though. Yeah. The CRA. Ooh, that sounds CRA sweet. is coming for you. Mm-hmm. They're both coming. Here it is. Check out. Check out how deluded this fucking psycho is. This guy goes. This, by the way, who is his own alt, he wrote this himself. I honestly love Trainwreck, and I don't care if he earned 360 million streaming. I watched him to fulfill my gambling addiction, and watching him lose eight hours a day in and out made me not want to gamble either. He helps so many people, so I'm happy for him. Trainwreck said, plus one, this is more the case than the narrative is sold, but it is what it is. Be sure to get the help you need in watching streamers is only a temporary crutch. Bitch, what the fuck? You made 360 fucking million dollars. You're gonna act like you're the good guy? Like, oh, people are just here for the therapy of not gambling? You fucking tr goblin. Are you serious, dude? Don't, listen, if you're gonna walk away with 360 million dollars, don't fucking lie to yourself. At least know that you basically fucked over so many people. Okay? Let's not pretend like you're the good guy, dude. Please, bro. This was written by, like, Stake's Russian PR company. Psychotic take. Also, like, there's substantially more people who watch his clips where he wins. Like, millions of people see those clips that don't see him losing. This is the main issue with gambling, because people just see the good. Uh, right. Those clips have, like, literally millions of views when he wins, like, 10 million. Uh, those are not even his fans, so they don't even know what he's saying but Love after your, and before this. Your the heartbeat clip. is elevating. Yeah. It's, people are saying it's pretty high. I, that I seems high to me. No. When, you, when you're 21, apparently it's, it can go up to like 140. And Just you're good. resting? Yeah. 21. You can be super Fuck high. You. Dude, he's, a, he's in the prime of his life, baby. He's a little ticker. Resting? It's going, dude. I think I'd have a heart attack if my heart. Well, my also, heart this is not technically resting. Uh, I'm like on screen and stuff, and that probably juices me up a little bit. Mm hmm. That's wild. Normally, adrenaline I'm like on, on, on air. Mine is 64 right now. How do you know? I, my Apple Watch. Oh, I want to know what mine is. I think mine's like 70 or something. I'm a very anxious person, too. So when I'm on stream, I get a little bit nervous. Oh, it went down, though. <laughs> Yo, that's what happened. When you were talking, yeah. it went up. By like, and now it's going back down to a normal rate. You getting all hyped up, boy, when you're on stream. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I was wrong. Mine's 88. Oh, okay. 65. Like you're 64 is my resting heart rate. Okay. You're also older than me. That you mean like when you're sleeping? Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, you got an old man uh, heart. Yeah, I think so. I slept with this <laughs> old man, so maybe that's what it's from. <laughs> old man. Old man. I guess. God, I don't know what mine is. I, I, I wish I knew. I've had this on when I go go peeing. I accidentally left it on, and I saw the stream afterwards, and it went up to like 150. <laughs> Just while you're peeing? Yeah, dude. <laughs> that, old, that poor old heart of ours, man. It mm -hmm. goes through so yeah. much on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here is, uh, because he's the hero Twitch deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Who the fuck is full squad gaming? I'm not sure. I mean, are they really? I, you know, these people are just looking for like a donation, bro. He responded to this with the laughing, crying face. Yeah. Had to let the people know, bitch. You're, bro. Come on, just tell it. Just be, say it like it is. You want him to send you money. It's the only reason anyone's nice to him. Yep. There it is. Train wreck. The biggest piece of shit in the world. Let him. You know. Fuck him. Ugly, you're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. 
That's, yeah, exactly. So 360 million. You guys think that's real, huh? Yeah, but I don't think it's net profit. I I'm skeptical. Yeah, me too. And yeah, regardless of what it is, um, yeah, Love's right that that is probably including all of the money that he was given to use on the site. Yeah. Who wants me to take their money? <laughs> I love that sound by so much. Who wants to lose some money today? <laughs> Uh, Cheyenne said, Ethan, I've been doing the Metamucil fiber powder between meals. Uh, also, I've been eating better and getting more active. So far, I've lost six pounds. Fucking family, dude. Let's go, Cheyenne. <clears throat> yeah, dude, I'm on track, man. I'm doing the weight loss is good. It's going good. Weighed myself this morning. I was under 230 for the first time Money. since I started. And the last time I was at 2.30 was when I didn't eat for two days, when I was, like, sick. Literally did not eat for two days. And now, I'm eating again. And now I'm below 2.30. Let's go. I How? want the shit out of that. What's my weight goal to mayo up your dome, Dan? 200. 200? Yes, sir. Dan should mayo up that dome. <laughs> That's going to be a long journey, but I can do it. You can do it. It's 30 pounds, You got this, dude. dude. I'll be got a it. tiny little twink by then, boy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so thankful, H3. I love you guys helping me through a lot right now. Love you so much. Love you, Holly. Shout out, Holly. <laughs> Ethan, uh, John says, Ethan, I have not been listening to your advice, and I am up five pounds. Well, there it is. Let's go, John. Uh, let's fuck. Hey, at least you're enjoying yourself, man. Gains. Dude, eating food, gaining weight, like obviously like mentally it's horrible, but man, it's so fun just eating fucking food. Ah, it's so good. I love food. If there was like some kind of pill you could take to like speed up your metabolism, I don't know. I mean, there's math. There is. I was yeah. about yeah. to say. Yeah. <laughs> Amphetamines are pretty good for that. Actually, yeah, there's stuff like that. So I guess it's not really a good option regardless. Yeah. But boy, if it was up to me, man, I'd be eating. Ooh, I'd be eating. Damn. Would, would you say that you, you're a binge eater? Like, when when you just like, so let's say you have like, you order McDonald's, and like an hour later, you're like, okay, uh, let's order something else. Is, is that an issue for you? Actually not. I've never been like a binge eater like that. I just like would eat constantly throughout the day. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, insatiable appetite. Before I started the Wellbutrin, I had, I can't emphasize this, I had zero control. I could not stop eating. Like, I, it was, it's hard to describe. I couldn't help my impulses. Mm -hmm. I had no control over it. Like, I would think about losing weight all day. It was the last thing on my mind every night before I went to bed about how, fuck, how fucked up I did that day, how I'm never going to lose weight, how tomorrow I really got to try harder. And every day, I could not control myself. I'm talking eating all day. And then at like 2 a.m. having a nasty fucked up snack. And while I'm eating it, I know how fucked up it is. But it, it's so hard to explain. I just had no fucking control left. So weird. Except eating poo -poo. Because I, <laughs> before I started the Lexapro, I was always pretty in control of my weight, I feel like, more or less. It's just, it's, it's hard to explain, I mean, and you feel so weak, but, like, I just couldn't control it. Man, it was crazy. I, my, uh, for me personally, my problem is binge eating. So tell me about what that looks like. So, like, which I'm actually following, honest, following your advice, and I'm, I'm actually down some weight, like I said. Clothes are starting to fit again. I'm not binge eating. I'm, I'm keeping it to some square meals. Good. So like on the weekends I would order Chick-fil-A which is bad in itself. Yeah. And then like an hour later even though my body is not physically hungry, my brain's like I need more food. Need yeah. more food. Need more food. So then I'd order McDonald's. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty good. Yeah. That's so it's good. just the binging and the accessibility to like DoorDash and shit like, you know. Oh my god, yeah, DoorDash. Oof. I spent a fall a small fortune on DoorDash and Postmates and all yeah. that shit, boy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Wellbutrin gave me like control of my 
And actually, what's so interesting, yeah, so Wellbutrin is actually FDA approved for both um, weight loss and quitting smoking. And when I did that, I was able to quit both. Like, it really gave me the agency to do that. It's so interesting. You know, I used to, you, you saw Zach, I, I couldn't resist going and having that cigarette with you, right? Right. And that was another thing that I just hated. I knew I had to quit. I'm getting too old for this shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, don't, I just, I got no problem with it now, man. Well, that's fucking amazing. I'm proud of you. Thanks, bro. But yeah, yeah try that Wellbutrin. I'm on 300 milligrams, someone asked. Lexapro Wellbutrin, bro. That's that good cocktail. Uh, thank you. My fiance has been uh, with for 15 years and banned me in my sleep last December. They just bailed when you're sleeping. Fuck that. I've been 40 pounds. I've lost 40 pounds since then. Not a me- recommended weight loss method. Oh, just because you've been so stressed, yeah. Yeah, but at least you're a skinny legend. You might be single, but you're a skinny legend. That's a consolation. Uh, Caroline says, For me, Ethan's the only one who could describe what food addiction was like. I've always yo-yoed on my weight. Anyway, I'm on Wellbutrin now and losing five pounds a month. That's what's up. It's 5,000 times easier with mental health treatment. Yeah, I don't know what... It's so interesting, man. Five pounds a month is great. That's a good pace. Gabriella said, I take, I take naltraxone for binge eating disorder. Help me lose 30 pounds. Damn. Yo, thank God we live in this age of medicine. Nicole says, I'm on Lexapro and before starting it, I never ate sweets or cared about snacks. After starting it, I literally wake up in the middle of the night to snack and have insane cravings for sweets. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Well, if you find that you're eating too much and gaining weight, you may want to ask your psychiatrist about adding Wellbutrin. Made a huge difference for me. Oh, Chris House says, intermittent fasting has helped me lose eight pounds in the last three weeks. You think you should give it a shot? Um, I've tried that. For me, what's working is, honestly, I'm just living my life. I'm eating what I want. And I'm just being more responsible, eating less, and exercising every day. To, if I want a burrito, or if I want Mexican food, I'll do that. I'll just eat less food in the morning, you know? I, found, I feel like when... Go ahead, love. Sorry. sorry. No, go ahead. Okay. I feel like when I push myself too hard, like put these crazy rules on myself, I'll end up like giving up two weeks later. But if I kind of find this in-between thing where I'm kind of giving up some stuff, but not too much, I can like kind of do it for a longer time without giving up. Yeah, I found that for myself too. Yeah. It's just, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm eating whatever I want. It's just like if you eat something with a lot of calories in it, you just know you're not going to be able to eat as much food later. So you kind of got to. I'm a, I'm a eat your ass. Yeah, eating ass is a calorie free snack. Does poop have calories? It must. I wonder how much poop calories in poop. Of course, problem. I poop. How many things. calories if you eat an ass? Is that online? Is that answer Beauty. online? Beauty. I mean, you're Beauty. not you're supposed to eat poop not to when eat you do that. I don't think. Beauty. <laughs> After years of struggling with eating disorders, from don't let me watch this and body dysmorphia, I finally got into treatment this February. It's never too late, and you are worthy of recovery. I love that. You know, I waited so long before I got on the Wellbutrin, I was gaining 80 pounds with this shit, and I don't know why I waited so long, but I'm so glad that I did. And that's the story with the with the Lexapro, too. I waited way too long before I got on that. I don't know why. It's just it's a weird thing, right? You don't want to admit that you that you need help. Uh, Brittany's one-month nicotine-free. We love that. Alyssa says, I up my Lexapro because my anxiety kept creeping back, and I actually am eating less because my anxiety caused me to eat for comfort. Right. Yeah, I raised my Lexapro, too. I started at 10 milligrams, and I raised it to 20, and that's where I found that it's, that I'm feeling, like, you know, good. What, were you going to say something, A.B.? Oh, I was just going to say that uh, having an Apple Watch has helped me keep up with exercise. I, I hate wearing watches and stuff, but uh, I got this one like a week ago, and it's good, like the app, to track um, my exercising every day. I feel inclined to fill the little bubble on it each day. So 
I found that helpful, but I know you don't like wearing watches. But it tracks your steps? Like, how does it track your exercise? Uh, yeah, it tracks steps. Uh, it has a lot of features in here, EKG and uh, heart rate monitor and uh, a few other ones. This is the new one, but it's way too fucking big. I feel like I'm walking around with, like, a computer on my wrist. I'm probably going to exchange it for a smaller one. What else do you use it for, that big old thing? Uh, it's convenient when I go on a run. I don't have to take my phone with me. Oh, that's can, good. Yeah, I can play all my music, answer my calls and texts from it. It has uh, cellular, so. By the way, uh, happy birthday, Jesse Jensen. 31st. Okay, play girl. Love that. Chris House says, I, if you eat three times a day in an eight-hour window, you will increase your metabolism. The first time I did the intermittent fasting, I lost 30 pounds. Great. Different things work for different people. You know, if that's what it takes... I think for me, it wasn't about the technique at all. It was just about the, the impulse. You know what I mean? So there it is. Weight loss kings and queens out there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Keep it going. Um, all right. You guys want to do... Uh, Natalie is advocating for ketamine. Psychedelic therapy. Yeah, that's a super interesting new thing going on. We talked about that with Kalila. Apparently, ketamine helps with depression. Isn't that weird? Fucking crazy. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Poot Lovato. We've been putting it off for long enough. Oh my god! It's finally happening. Been in the works for weeks now. All right. This is a segment we have meme history. The great memes of history that you may have missed or you may like to be refreshed on. That's right, Poot Lovato. Now, I had seen this photo, but I didn't know it was called Poot Lovato. I I'm very excited. I have gone out of my way to not look this up. I still don't really, I, I know it has something to do with Demi. Yep. Oh, you, you don't know the picture? Mm. I, dude, the picture is so fucking funny. It's... <laughs> it is so funny. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. One of my fun, one of my most fun experiences on the internet, for mm. sure. Was during the Poot Lovato days? The Poot era. Really? Yeah. Yes. Was there just lots of good memes floating Incredible around? memes. Also, just when st something is happening on the, like, Twitter verse, mm -hmm. if you say it, like I was in high school when it happened, if you, you know who, who was your friend when you say right. Poot and everyone's like, Right, that's so. how you find your friends, got it. Yeah. Well, okay, so, so Poot, this is uh, where we begin. Uh, <laughs> Demi has changed her pronouns back to she, her, hers. Thank, I mean, luckily for me. Can I, I, can I ask a question? I don't want to be rude about it. I want to be respectful as I can. Can we... Uh... <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Every, every time... <laughs> You lead off with a statement like that. Yeah. I prefer really not to. Um, Look, I try to. to I try so hard speak, to be I'm sensitive to the pronouns and stuff. Like she was going by they them, and I tried so hard to accommodate her. And after all the fucking work I put in, she's going back to she her. Like big trouble. I, I feel like to you gotta trouble. commit. If you change your pronouns, yeah, you gotta commit harder than that, bro. Or maybe like a cool down period. That's like what how I in a think. game, you know, like the spell has a cooldown. Change you your pronouns, but it's like a it's like a five year cooldown. Yeah, the the queer community yes, has man. also expressed um, confusion and possibly anger about like Demi were confused. It doesn't seem that genuine when you're switching it every year. That is what people and have said. And also, you can't get angry at people. You're like, you didn't get my fucking pronouns right. When it's like, well, last year were they them? Now you're she her. It's like, you gotta fucking help me out here, lady. People are saying, nope, you guys are saying bad take. How uh, genuinely it's a good take. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, because if you expecting uh, someone like me, who's a boomer to use the right pronouns and I'm trying my best, I am trying my best. Okay. You can't be flip flopping every fucking week, man. Stop with the L take. You know, I'm right. The be reasonable. Yes. The if someone goes by they them and then they decide to switch their pronouns, it's all a singular experience. Demi's case in particular, um, let me get for sure what she said, but it was something along the lines of like, nobody got it. So and that's why people expressed concern about that. There's lots of passion in the comments here. 
Guys, I'm throwing I'm up just, a poll. Listen. Let's 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 take a temperature. As check a here. person who tries his best to be an ally, I'm just saying maybe she should think harder about the they them switch before she goes. Cause clearly if she's switching back like a year later, you know. Yeah, and the implications of like the community you say you're identifying with for sure. Yeah, you're just gonna leave them behind. Guys, how is it a bad take? You know I'm right. You, think, even you know I'm right. It's a ba- people are saying it's a bad poll, though, Dan. No. What? It's <laughs> a fine poll. The audience is saying it's a uh, bad poll? They're confused. What? Um, yeah, Demi Lovato states that they have been feeling more feminine, and that's why. Okay, good. You know, and, and obviously, I'm not saying you can't change your identity of how you identify. That's perfectly fine. But... Don't get angry if I can't keep track of your pronouns, man. I left that yogurt store and didn't get the yogurt that I wanted. My pronoun is yogurt store. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. I don't know what that means. Yeah, but if you're offended by what I just said, listen, you're doing a war of PR. We're trying to make trans people more accepted in society. And I'm right there with you, bro. And non-binary people. Yes. However, if you keep switching because you don't necessarily have a very concrete reason, it's confusing and it elicits questions, I think. Look at my hair. You're saying that I'm not an ally? What does that mean? (laughs) (laughs) What does that mean? (laughs) True. Yeah, I guess that means something shit. All right. Uh, Anyways, uh, those of you guys who found the vlog yeah. to be offensive, I'm sorry. You By the way, AB, I blame AB for that joke. Although no, I, think, I don't think oh. I interpreted the right okay, way. Okay, I was saying, look at me, look, look at my hair. You're taking me a little too serious. That's what I was trying to get across. <laughs> I don't know where it's the ally thing came from. <laughs> yeah, that was that was AB. <laughs> AB hates trans people. I'll just throw them under the bus right now. You can never keep track of pronouns like me. Rewind the tape. <laughs> I hit the X. Nobody keeps track of pronouns like me. You understand? All right, Demi's back to she, her, hers. Okay, good. Let's move on. So, do you want to lead us through this, uh, Olivia? Or you um, want? I can take the reins. No, you can take yeah. the reins, okay. and then if you have any questions. Okay. So, the birthplace of Poot. It was a night like any other. November 13th, 2014. Demi was participating in the Royal Variety of Performance at the Palladium Theater. Mm -hmm. As you can see, she looks slay. She looks great. She does look great. Love the dress. Serving boots. Loving that. (laughs) It makes it funnier. (laughs) Yeah, she looks great. Uh, The character Poot was actually a result of a photo taken by an unknown cell phone user on the red carpet. Mm. Okay, so here she is looking slay, as Olivia said. And we don't know we don't know the identity of the shooter. This is on the, the photo. grassy knoll. <laughs> this is the Leo photo. Leo we Leo. know that, right? Or yes, that's the phone. That is the phone. <laughs> this is and that the, is the hand. The shot heard around the world. Yes. So that's so the Who's so, mother is that hand? That's interesting. Ah, okay. So we don't know who took this photo. Mm-hmm. I think it was, uh, who's the guy that shot JFK? <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah, we don't know. Goes, That's the thing. We don't know. <laughs> I think it was Lee Harvey Oswald. That's what they want you to think. Okay, here it is. Lou shot JFK. There she is. <laughs> Lou. She John was, Hinckley. Okay, this is important now, Dan. Everyone pay attention. George Bush. Phone, Demi. Now let's meet her. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is Poot? Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> a pleasure to meet you, Poot. Like the worst photo ever taken of a human being. <laughs> and just the chaos happening behind Poot. Oh, this is an energetic scene. Bro, it's such a horrible photo. <laughs> Look at this. Slay. And then this is the photo. <laughs> so this photo... I'd, do we know where it was first posted? Yes, it's next. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Did they fuck with her face shape? You'll, you'll, we get to it. <laughs> okay. There's a lot to unpack. 
moving on. Poot, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that delivered on the build-up. We've been talking about poop for like a month. <laughs> so this photo, photo first surfaced on Tumblr. Rest in peace. Rip. Uh, well, it's still and, there, but it's not. Yeah, it's not, it's it not, not the same without furry porn. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. True. Uh, it first surfaced in Tumblr in 2015. <laughs> its caption read, Demi's twin sister. She was locked in the basement her whole life. <laughs> this picture was taken the first time she went outside. Her name is Poot. <laughs> Demi's twin sister. Yeah, so, so, wow. So that post must have gone crazy yeah, on Tumblr. Yeah, because <laughs> here's the thing is like, that is obviously true. Like, you look at that photo and yeah. you know... That is Poot. Yeah, that's Poot. That's someone I've never met before, so, and that is Poot. This is so interesting. I wonder where they got the photo. Was this the photographer? I think, I think yes. I think the photographer probably is the one who... <laughs> but what a legend, because he's so funny, and like, wow, <laughs> what a guy, man. Obviously went viral. Pootie and the Beast. Pootie <laughs> and the Beast. Get her dancing! <laughs> Pooter Pan. Right. <laughs> Harry Pooter. <laughs> this Poot fan art also went viral. <laughs> I love Demi so much I had to draw her. She's my queen. That's actually a pretty good uh, representation. Yeah. Nailed it. It was later revealed the poot is an edit. Uh, okay. All Devastating, right. though unimportant. Right. That's funny because I've never seen this photo. <laughs> nope. Exactly. I've only ever seen this photo. That's fraud. But that's so genius. What did they do? They just widened her face. <laughs> it's like all the edits people Fuck do, baby. Teeth up. Yeah, I feel I feel her pain. <laughs> you feel seen right now. Mm -hmm. It's AB so subtle. Laughing. It's so subtle, but so good. He did her so dirty, man. Sucks when people do that. So how can poot be applied to our real lives? That is the question indeed. Ethoot. <laughs> this of course was edited like hers. Wait, no. I think this is the original. We're gonna see the edited. No, this soon. one was edited. No, that's sure. that's the original photo. <laughs> and then oh. This is but that okay, hoot, I don't like hoot. the photo next. That Dude. looks like my dog. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> Oh, this is my favorite picture of you <laughs> forever, Zach. Make sure Zach ever. Dude. That photo. <laughs> that zoo. You look like a fucking whale. You don't like this photo? It's Absolutely not. so funny. And the caption that someone put on the subreddit was so perfect. It's like, Zach looks like the uncle that calls you Kimo Sawa or something. Kimo Sawa. And it's not uncle. It's like the guy who just had sex fucking with your, your mom. mom yeah. Your divorced mom. <laughs> totally. What's up, Kimo Sawa? But the whole, just the posture, the body language, it's all I happening for me. like a whale. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not about that. Yeah, the way that you do self-assigned poots, I feel like it's when, the way that AB described it when his photo went viral, where it's like, that is a photo of me, but that is not me. Right. And so I tried to gather those for everybody. This is nice, yeah, I like what you're doing here. Except, of all these, I think this is the only one that, this one, that's just Dude. a picture. That is the original. <laughs> yeah, that's just a picture of me, actually. <laughs> But that was me at my chunky, big, fat boy fit. That was like, that podcast was... That was the wake-up call. That was a big one, right? Yeah. That's also the corner of a fisheye lens. I think it distorts, distorts its light. Yeah, it's yeah, a little distorted, look but... exactly like that, I wouldn't yeah. say. You know, I was a fucking monster. I still am. That's what's so crazy. Uh, loot. <laughs> loot. Give me the loot. This is a real photo. This is a boot, and this a boot. not edited. <laughs> a boot! So me and you, uh, AB. Tell me a boot it. We're the two unedited kings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's Life the... has been in a downward spiral since this picture. <laughs> this is such an iconic photo, though, AB. Oh, it all you. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. I got another hot chip left over if you want to... Revisit. No, how much? How much? You said you wouldn't do it for a million dollars last time. Now would you do it for a thousand? No. Really? Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. I would do it again. Dan, you need to do it, you motherfucker. How much you paying? Nobody else got paid. So? 
I'll give you 200 Smarter than them. 200? Nah. I'm not trying to pay out. Worth it. How much you need to eat a hot chip right now? I'll do it for a thousand. I'm not paying your ass a thousand dollars. Well, then I ain't no hot chip, boy. This is bullshit. Everyone ate the hot chip, Dan. Sucks for them. Lena won and got a GG. What are you saying? No, I'm just saying. How, you're gonna get a thousand bucks when you won. I'm trying to defend you, oh, girl. Oh, I That's thought you were I'm saying, saying I, should, I should do it again. I won't. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What'd you say about Lena? I, I'm saying Dan's turning down for a thousand when Lena won and just got a GG. She wanted a GG? She oh. won the contest and didn't win a prize, I'm saying. I'm saying no one won anything. You're saying you didn't pay anyone. I said nobody got anything. Right. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. What'd you want? We're on- Y'all are suckers. We're on the same page. What I'm trying to say. Yeah. A poot. We are on the same page. You fucking a poot. <laughs> Lena, you wouldn't do it again? No, I wouldn't. Oh, that's interesting, because you're the reigning champ. Yeah, uh, it's just, I didn't want to go through that, um, the aftermath, the pain again. You the, had a hard time afterwards? It was just a one and done, yeah. You know, I would do it again. I think I could beat you, Lena, I, without my throat pain. I was thinking, because I was really sick and I had a really sore throat, I think I could beat you if I did again. Okay, if you wanted to compete, I I'll do it again. You would? Yeah, I would. Because that would be fun, actually. By the way, here is, a. Uh, Another angle of Demi's uh, legendary photo. <laughs> Poot's new do. That's good. That's really good. Poot comes out of the, the basement with that do. <laughs> Inut? Inut. 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 Wait, that's really camp. <laughs> Poor camp. No, coot. that's coot. That's coot. All oh, right, that's coot. Sorry. It's our boy Cooter. Cameron is very nice. He is. He's a good guy. <laughs> Smoot. <laughs> hey, they said Ninja was in. Is this blood? <laughs> Smoot. T Lanute. What? <laughs> Where did you even get this from? <laughs> I asked AB for a cursed photo of you, and that's what he gave me. It's not that bad. I sure, don't even remember bad. this. Is, it's not edited? <laughs> like. No, 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 no. It's just when there's, like, it's a cursed image. And that's what your husband delivered, so Lovely. it's not my problem. Thank you, A.B. Lanute, <laughs> what do we think? Is this is this cursed? We need a better cursed of Lena and Cam, I think. Oh, oh, I got plenty of cursed photos of me. I can get you one right now. All right, all right. Hold on. Drop it. This is a uh, oot, just oot. <laughs> this is not a bad photo. <laughs> no, this man. is also not cursed. But yeah, I feel like cute. I... I look like. Of course, poop. you did the presentation. <laughs> and you well, I, was, I was saying that I was having a hard time because I've deleted all the photos I hate of myself. Very interesting. Mm hmm. Here's a good photo of me. And friend of the show, Hawoot Mandut. Yes. What do we do about it? Yeah, that was kind of a fire angle when you just see my. There it is. So we love you, Pooh. Can't wait to see you next time. Demi lets you outside. Love and hugs, H3 crew. Good time. Absolutely. Good time. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. Yay. An excellent time. Happy you liked it. Dan, you were talking about how the show's light today and you won't even eat a spicy chip. You uh, about the show. I didn't say that I wouldn't eat it. I said I would eat it for one thousand USD. Um, okay, what about five hundred dollars? No, I think a thousand sounds very fair. Yeah, I I change. Actually, you know what? It, I don't even want to go down this path because if I convince you, then I actually have to do it, and I I got a plan. Leftovers tonight. But then we got a banger. I cannot be banger, in the bathroom. Banger title all night. for Friday. Dan died. <laughs> 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 if leftovers wasn't at 10 a.m., I might be more considering it more seriously. But oh, Cam! Poor Cam is sending me all these cursed photos of him. Cam had an amazing wow. glow up. Slay! That's did you Coot. Get, did That's you, not me. That's Coot. That's Coot. That's my uh, twin brother. Did Coot get like uh, Accutane or some kind of treatment, or did it just clear up on its own? It just cleared up on its own. Thank <gasps> Christ. Your skin is beautiful now. Your skin is beautiful now. Look at you. Oh my god, it healed so beautifully. 
What the heck? No scarring, nothing. I can imagine that must have been a really hard time, bro. Oh, you don't know the half of it, but you know. Thank, and now I'm all embarrassed, but thank you. That guy fucks, Cam. That's Coot. <laughs> Coot, you made it, bro. You grew up, and now look at you, man. You don't have to be. Isn't that awesome? Like high school and, and middle school feels so serious, right? And it, sometimes it sucks so fucking bad, and it feels like it's your whole damn life. I don't even barely remember school now. But look at you. This kid grew up. He's a beautiful swan. Now he's just a man child. Oh my Stay god. Child. I beautiful I, man child. I just saw something that I have to share with you, Ethan. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't see this until just now. Your mom sent me a message. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear about you and Ethan having a falling out. <laughs> Your relationship is similar to a marriage in a way. You guys need counseling, LOL. Whatever you decide, just know you'll be sorely missed. <laughs> so sweet. So cute. Donna, you're such a sweetheart. And then she followed it up a few minutes later. Oh my god, Dan, you really had me fooled. <laughs> oh shit. I just Aww. think how did she so keep cute. falling for it though? She's so sweet. I get You guys it sold it pretty well. Like no, especially but, you, Ethan. You I mean you had most of the chat fooled too. So. Yeah, I saw everyone that, but I I just <laughs> she should just Okay, all right. I guess maybe you're right, but how many times are we gonna clickbait this crazy ass shit? Yeah, yeah. And in the world, I'm sorry to do that to you, Donna. Something's that, that gonna was happen. That's a very sweet message you sent. Nobody's gonna believe us. And in the world, so every time I meet my grandma, she'll ask about either like you and Ela, why you guys broke off or <laughs> something else. Like, n no joke. She's also the similar age as your your mom. Uh, I think it might be something with age. Because every single time I meet her, maybe once or a couple times a month, she'll ask something about a thumbnail and a title. <laughs> That's funny, man. I mean, yeah. at least she's like looking at the thumbnails and titles, she's keeping up a little bit. Yeah, but she doesn't watch the show. I think she clearly not. <laughs> maybe she does, but I don't know. At least my mom, funny she though. did watch because she got the reveal. Yeah. Hi, mom. By the way, if you're watching still. That was a nice message she sent you, though, Dan. Yeah, that's very sweet. Dubrick. Dubrick? Dubrick? Okay, there it is. Hmm? Okay. Wait, is this related, A.B.? Yeah, this is another mom that fell for it. Oh my gosh. Man. Sorry to moms everywhere. Uh, this is from Jessie. She said... <laughs> her mom said, I think Dan quit for real. He's trying to get him back. No, he just showed up, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 All right, since we're... Sh I, I wasn't going to share this, but since this seems to be the theme, when I went to the restroom a minute ago, I looked at my phone, and I had a text from my dad. Oh. He said, just, is it true? And then a few minutes later, oh, you didn't quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I guess we really sold it. You sold it well. I'm sorry, parents of America. <laughs> all the parents are reaching I out. I apologize for putting you guys all through that. Oh, someone just gave 25 zaddy to the fun to get make Dan eat the hot chip. I'm not going to do it today but for any amount it, of money. I, uh, maybe I'll do it on Friday. Do it fucking right now. I, I do it on Friday. Dan if, you, if you really want to do this. Yeah, Dan, we got to click bait. For real, because I saw like everyone, the aftermath. I was fine. I was totally fine. I, I just had a little bit of a spicy diarrhea. Yeah. Well, a lot of them, bad. a lot of people on the crew had a real rough time that afternoon, and, um... Well, how are you with spicy food? You're seeming... I'm actually really good, and, and I don't yeah. have a weak stomach, so it would probably be okay, but... Again, uh, you know, I, I, I do all the planning for leftovers, it's an early morning show, my, my Wednesday nights are always pretty late finishing that up, and I cannot be shitting my brains out tonight, so... But, Friday we, maybe? We got phones, Dan, you can do it from the toilet. <laughs> yeah. If you go, if you end up on the potty, I can cover for you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll do it on Friday. We got okay, another show okay, on Friday. Okay, okay, Friday. That sounds yeah. great. That sounds, for one thousand. We have so much to look forward to. That's awesome. Friday, baby. I just can't wait. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Dan's gonna eat the chip. I, I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> for one thousand dollars, that's right. Well, no, we never. Well, who's paying you a thousand dollars? Somebody is, or I'm not eating the chip. Well, here's ten bucks. People keep putting in. I don't Dan's know. Dan's chip fund. Yeah, now there's a Dan <laughs> chip fund. Bro, I need that chip for free, dude. That chip cost me ten bucks, Dan. 
Can I deduct the ten for? Sure. $1, okay, $1? I'll do it for nine hundred ninety dollars. <laughs> Just saying, God, they man. fucking sell that shit for ten. I know. Bucks. I know. It's. I know awesome. we talked about it already, but that is insane. One motherfucking chip, y'all. <laughs> that tastes like shit too, by the way. You imagine working where they make those? That'd be horrible. Yeah, they definitely have masks or like heavy duty <laughs> gas masks. masks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gas masks. <laughs> All right. Uh, Amaranth, by the way, I'm happy to say an update on her situation. She, last we heard, she had a false live. She was about to go live, and then she just put up a text and said, I'll be back later. The police are here, somewhat ominous. But fortunately, she's went back on live and explained that she's doing well and everything is fine, which I'm very relieved to find out. Um, she was very appreciative. So here's actually what happened. I found this interesting. When he, her husband was yelling at her, apparently she had the stream muted for several hours. And when he started threatening to kill her dogs and stuff, she just became overwhelmed, didn't know what to do, and she just unmuted her stream. Yeah. Crazy. He, he was saying he was about to tweet stuff exposing her that was false to ruin her career and she was just like oh nope fucking suck. and i wasn't clear on this but just based it, it sounded like maybe from her own accounts because he had like access to them that's is that anybody I, else's takeaway I, from yeah that? that's what i yeah from yeah hers. Mm -hmm. right <coughs> because i think this dude's trying to say anonymous for good reasons right ups is asking for you know what i mean i said ups what do you want <laughs> I didn't say any. I didn't say a goddamn uh, motherfucking didn't. thing. You sure didn't. I'm not trying to get you to quit again. I prefer <laughs> you not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in in big trouble. <laughs> in big trouble. Here she is and discussing what happened. Yeah. As some of you probably saw the other night, uh, he called me during stream, and I disappeared for like two hours, and then I finally like unmuted about an hour and a half into the call, I guess. And um, I apologize that that was hard to watch for people. I didn't really know what else to do because he was threatening to tweet shit, right? So kind of, if he was gonna tweet lies, I wanted to beat him to the punch, but um, yeah. Sorry for if I triggered anybody with past abuse. Anyway, so that happened. Um, that was actually the first time that he's ever heard himself on a recording because as I told you guys before Previously when I recorded him he would just like refuse to listen To recordings Sometimes with like take phones, etc. So he would never actually hear them um, And I think that when he heard himself on that call it really Sunk in How much of an asshole He is yeah, um, she goes on to say that um, they're separated. She she implies it, but I don't think she directly says it at any point. Oh, here's a clip. Let's see. I think that when he heard himself on that call, oh, that it really to. sunk in how much of an asshole he is. <laughs> So you never fucking realized, idiot. Anyways. Yeah, I mean, you were threatening to kill her dogs and horse. So, he's a fucking bullshit artist. But I, I, I support Amaranth all the way, no matter what. Whatever she decides to do, I support her. You know what I mean? I'm not going to judge her on wh whatever route she takes on this one. Um, so as of today, though, I have access to all of my accounts and finances again. Uh, he's not here. He's getting help. And I'm seeking legal and emotional counsel. I have, like, I'm like, do I drink? Do I, do I stay hydrated? I don't know which one right now. 
But yeah, I've had a lot of people reach out though to offer their help and support, including like legal help, uh, places to stay, etc. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. And I think that when yeah, you I think if she if she gets herself a good divorce lawyer, that dude ain't getting shit. Because I think when there's abuse involved, he's not entitled to. He's entitled to a lot less, if anything. I think. Hope so. Good evidence. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, so she got her finances back, and uh, yeah. Also, there's another weird wrinkle in this story about her cameraman. And this is so interesting. The guy who was posting updates to Twitter about how she's all right. Um, do we have that one? All of his tweets are in this album. Yeah. Because we pulled it up, and I'm like, who is this guy? Like, do we know if this guy even is, like, representing... So let me just go to the one he tweeted and then. Yeah, he said this one. Latest update. People on the team were able to talk to her and say she's fine. Police were called multiple times. She says she's okay. She spent all day talking to her husband to sort things out. Not sure what else we can do right now. Yeah, it turns out that this dude was. Uh, she says. Uh, uh, betrayed her for clout. Was her ex cameraman the real Mars Bar? Let's see. Oh, many messages. It's kind of crazy. It's like I felt so alone for so long, and now it's like I can't stop getting people to talk to me. <laughs> Not in a bad way. It's just a very big contrast. I didn't think people cared that much. Um, Some people, though, seem to be using the situation for personal gain and clout, which is less, less moving. Um, unfortunately, my cameraman seems to be one of those people, former cameraman. Just over the TwitchCon weekend, he actually withheld information and sat on communications, which made certain situations more explosive than they needed to be. Uh, so, it's kind of weird what he's doing now. Um, Sunday night after TwitchCon, I felt uncomfortable with like how much he was, what's a good word for, escalating matters, because it was very tense, as you saw from the text messages, partly because of the miscommunications. Um, he, he called security to resolve the situation forcibly and aggravated it further when he called police, even though I said I didn't want to do that. So I felt like he was attempting to create a scene at a convention full of live streamers. Like our floor literally had streamers staying in it all up and down the floor. <laughs> and so, um, just feels very shitty because when I expressed clearly I had plans in place to quietly deal with the situation at home, didn't really appreciate that. Uh, she's uh, let's see here. She says that this dude, um, it was pretty weird how he was tweeting out the whole time, like without her consent or permission. He starts going free amaranth. Does it make sense? And then he took this weird photo of her and the police, and I guess her husband. And he says, does it make sense now why I had to stream on Kate's channel all day Saturday at TwitchCon? So he was twi streaming against her will? Is that what happened? Like no, um, he is her cameraman. And so when things happen with her husband, she'll mute it or the stream keeps going and she is preoccupied. So he continued streaming. But he didn't, he wasn't like a, an online personality. Also for the skeptics, here's a picture of Amaranth locked out of her hotel room and the 911 call I made while he was yelling at her on Monday morning, 6 a.m. Do you find this picture like, like, why are you posting that or is that? And uh, why'd you, why'd you take it? Yeah, you took this really weird photo, bro. Why did you even take that? Right. Shit. Yeah, I don't know, though. On the other hand, it's like if you're scared 
as we all were. I don't know. But she didn't like it, so she was very uncomfortable with it. Well, she said that her cameraman knew that this had been happening. It wasn't like he took an opportune photo, like, I can't believe this is happening. I need to snap this. It was like, mm -hmm. he's been living with this knowledge for a while, and why is he documenting it? Definite creep shot, though. Like, whoa. If you scroll to the bottom of the album, you'll see the last tweet where, uh, yeah, at the very end. This is after he was fired. His Dude, bio a lot says, to say. Holy shit. Yeah. It says ex uh, cameraman for Amaranth. And you see she responded to this saying stop. To be clear, I'm not Amaranth's content guy. I'm not just her content camera guy. I've known Kate for eight years. I'm not some guy who just started working for her. I feel for Kate. And I'm going to support her no matter what she chooses to do. She's like, stop it. Bro, is he trying to get in there? I don't necessarily I think he's more trying that. to play hero. Oh, like do you club. think he's in he's in love with Amor? Number one simp. <laughs> oh, I didn't Wasting I didn't no get time. that. I don't think. Who knows? But Super my interpretation weird, is is, I mean, it sounds like they had a professional working relationship for an extended period of time, and he was probably aware of what a shitty abusive situation this was, and was. For whatever reason, because I don't think we really know what the incident was that triggered all of this at TwitchCon, but uh, decided against her wishes that he wanted to get the police involved. Um, maybe he thought it was going to get violent or something. Um, and I think in his mind, he was probably trying to do a good thing. But like a lot of people online with vlogitis, you know, there's always that angle of what clout can I get from this? And like, if you're really concerned for somebody's safety and well-being like that, it, you don't you don't need to be live tweeting it, and uh, and shouldn't be really, he, he, especially he, if it's against their wishes. So, yeah, I, mean, I don't had, know. He had the exclusive on this shit. Like this one had seventeen thousand likes. Right. No, he was definitely trying to get something out of it. He said after this. I was super stressed about losing my job after Monday, and that stress is what leads good people to turn a blind eye to shitty situations. I'm glad it's all coming to light, and I'm glad I at least tried to do the right thing. What does that mean? Um, I think it's him saying that he wanted to keep his job, and he didn't want to mess with the business model that was created. So that's <laughs> what he means by it leads good people to turn a blind eye. And then after Monday, he was super stressed about losing his job because the business they had been in a huge fight, and there was an altercation. He's like, I'm glad the public now sees what I knew, which was that she was abused. Mm -hmm. Oh, because he's like, they, oh, I see. He's trying to cover his ass. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew the whole time and didn't do anything. Yes. Well, it's not your fucking story to tell to begin with, bro. It's kind of weird if you did. Um, okay, so there it is. There's that. That whole weird thing that she's dealing with. Not sure. Not sure, you know. There it is. And so, uh, in, in summary, let's see. She's going to keep creating content. And now that her husband is out of the picture, this is quite sad to hear her say about it. It is good. Here. At least for now, though, I think I'm going to take it easy. Uh, interesting and I don't time have to wear cleavage. Is this not the right time? No, it is. It no, no, is. no, no it's, it's just, right here. It's, it's right there. <laughs> I can wear clothes. She said, I'm excited to not wear cleavage anymore. Oh, I can't. I can't hear. Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. Oh, Harry Potter uh, fandom. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she goes on to say that she's excited to um, get eight hours of sleep. Yeah, it's really sad. She's excited to actually be able to see her horse. She's excited to watch TV again. She's excited to make content about animals. She's excited where she doesn't have to have her cleavage out all the time. She doesn't have to wear revealing clothing. She can go do social events. She feels like she has friends again. She can travel camping. This is nuts. Yeah, 
just like writing down a list of everything when she was talking about the simplest things that you would assume, like I'm excited to sleep, like you don't realize how horrible some people's situations are. Yeah, and you know, the what a monster, man. Holy shit. You know, it's just so sad. Marriage is such a, um, it is sacred, I think, to a degree. I mean, your significant other should be your, your ally and supporter and all of it. And when they turn into, like, your biggest enemy, that's just a really bad, 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 fucked up situation, you know? It sucks. Beyond sucks. But she's okay. And uh, we just wish her well. All of Fupa Troopers and H3 community says yes to Amaranth. Sam, you're an Amaranth fan. How's this whole thing been for you? I mean, it's extremely sad, and I just hope that she's safe and okay. So There it is. Sam has spoken. <laughs> she said what we've all been thinking. That's good. I'm happy that there's, you know, a relatively good conclusion here. I mean, the best possible conclusion, really. I was afraid, I was afraid he was going to hurt her when she disappeared. Yeah. Hearing the way he was talking to her. All right. Who knows? Who knows what was happening? Um, up next, let's see. We've got James Corden. This actually is such a funny story. I can need to pee though, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go pee, and then we'll do this James Corden. All right, story. Sounds good. All right, see ya. Be back. Peace. I made a little fun little Photoshop and some downtime, but there wasn't a placement for it earlier. So, would you like to send it? I'm gonna drop it right now. Let's go. Send that over, you full send. Lou. Full send. Beautiful swan cam. There he is. There's Lou. Lou. The goat. It's Louis the goat. This guy fucks, dude. This dude fucks hard, bro. That guy. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Lou. Thing. No, thank you, <laughs> Thank Cam. you. You're the goat. Being you. So should we all just create alter egos for ourselves? Mm, Can we idea. do that? <laughs> yeah. I'm down. What's your name, Lena? What's your alter ego? I don't know. Ego? I have to think of it. It has to be good. True. You have one, don't you, Olivia? Oh, my God. Do I? I think you, you said something when... Wait. Zach brought up the whole Lou thing. Oh, no, I think maybe you just said Beyonce. You oh, Beyonce is Sasha Fierce. R I'm trying to think of what it was. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I would I like know. an alter ego. You could I'll be uh, Olive Fresh. Olive Fresh? I don't know. Whenever I would drink, I would all, my name would always be like Victoria or Veronica. That's just what I... It's mm. like your Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type. Yeah. You have a little bit of Veronica energy. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. No, that like kind of makes sense somehow. No, drunk me is Veronica for sure. Fascinating. Huh. Mine's Al. You can call me Al. Al? Yeah. Hey, you can call me Al. What's Al like? Dun, 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 dun. Call me Abu Batata. Mm hmm. Say that one more time. Abu Batata. Abu Batata? Yeah, Abu means Abu father Batata. of potatoes. Father of potatoes. Oh, you do eat raw potatoes. Is that where that comes from? Mm hmm. Oh. And you know, and, and here's a little lesson for you guys. In Arabic, usually when you're referring to a gentleman uh, who's a father, he would be Abu and then whatever his first son's name is. So your father would be Abu Dan. Right. Yeah. Just saying. What's Abba? Abu means father of. Well, Abba. Oh. Abba, Abba is, is his Hebrew. Father. There was a, there was a gentleman that was interviewed on the news once. I forget what it was for, but he told the news station his name was Abu Sharmuta, which means king, uh, father of bitches, <laughs> and they they rolled it. Famous meme. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Abu Sharmuta, shout out. Shout out. We'll do a PowerPoint on that next week. Yes. I won't look at anything. <laughs> yes. I'll be totally surprised. Save the surprise. Uh, did we read this one from Noah? Noah Chavez? Uh, what do we have to do to make Ethan's glorious hairstyle trend? Like when the mullet made its unfortunate return, I see some true potential here, guys. He needs to get that shit on TikTok. That'll do it. Oh, Lena. Oh, it on TikTok. Great point, Kim. Lena, were you talking about that I said my mom calls me Lou? 
I remember that. It wasn't that specifically, mm, but I'll keep thinking. That on is it. interesting, <laughs> though. Your middle name. Oh, my middle name is embarrassing. Let's it's hear true. it. It's I unique. just saw mine. Mine's Al. Mine is C. Just mm. C. Just C. S E A. I think nope. Lena. I think Lena could top you. Go ahead. Lena. You want to tell yours, Lena? Mine is Ahmed. What's wrong with that? I love that. What's wrong with yeah. that? What's wrong with that, AB? Yeah, it's my dad's name. She's gaslighting me. She's the one that hates <laughs> it. I don't mind. The Arabs, they, they name their daughters and their sons usually yeah. their your father's name. Your middle name is your dad's middle name. name. Oh, that's like my middle name C stands for my grandpa Charlie and my sister J for the other grandpa. Charlie M. Charlie Wait, your your sister's middle name is J. Mm hmm. For Joaquin, what? They're like men in black agents. <laughs> this is a little boomer of me, but there was a whole joke on The Simpsons back in the day that Homer's name was Homer J. Simpson, but he didn't know what the middle name was. And there was a whole episode mm. dedicated to him trying to figure out, and he finally finds out it's J, J-A-Y. Ah. It's like, from now on, I'll be known as Homer J. Simpson. Mm. Should I be Olivia S-E-E? -E? God, God. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's... <laughs> I think you should. I have a new... Lena, we just figured it out. It's C, but with your eyes. And that's my name. That's cute. You can go with that. This is doing? good. This is, I missed this. This is the goat. That's the goat. He's the goat. There it is, Zach. Now this makes sense. Oh, and the goat no, shirt Lou. says Lou. Right, because he's the goat. Lou's the goat. He's the I Lou. the goat, yes. Hmm. What's <laughs> your alter ego, Ethan? Who would uh, be your alter ego name? Oh, I'm the goat. Oh, you're just the goat? Now? You're just I goat? I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't know. My alter ego shit. I don't know. Goat you, you have a quick answer to that? Everyone else did. I, I didn't have one. You have a quick answer to your alter ego? Yeah, I'm Al. Call me Al. Great bass line. Absolutely. All right. Let's talk about James Corden. Trigger Appar warning. Apparently, <laughs> trigger warning, James Corden. <laughs> apparently, everybody hates this guy. And I'm just learning about this. I didn't know. Now, obviously, I'm not a fan of his comedy. I don't find him funny. I don't like the show. I don't like, I never even liked the karaoke shit because it, it's just corny. I mean, I don't know. It's just like, whatever. But people loved it. And I didn't have a problem with his personality. I didn't know anything about him. But apparently, he's the biggest asshole in the world. Uh, he has a track record, so much so that, um, God, there's a lot of stories about him. I was in, reading about it a little bit for research. He's leaving the show, and the comments I saw online are just viciously brutal, man. <laughs> like, everybody hates this guy. Yeah. It's got to feel bad. Everyone's like, stay in America. We don't want you back in UK. It's fucking gnarly how, how despised he is. What is it? Did you guys know about uh, James Corden? I knew he had a reputation for being a douche. And yeah, I, I had always heard that, um, that he was really not liked in the UK, <laughs> Look where at he's from, off. for some reason. The pops did him dirty with this one, boy. James Corden ditches the diet as he scoffs pizza down after losing a stone. The British press is so bad. He <laughs> scoffs pizza down. <laughs> Big fat loser James Corden <laughs> scoffing pizza. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Dude, that's so wild. Um, yeah, and then he had this. This was something I learned about. He tried to do an AMA on Reddit to promote, he says, I'm James Corden along with Ben Winston and five of our team members who help us make carpool karaoke. Ask me anything. This was his huge segment, put him on the map. This is from three years ago. <laughs> and this went so sideways. All the, these, <laughs> I don't know why any celebrity tries to do these AMAs. I mean, I guess they don't always end in disaster, but the there's so many iconic, disastrous ones at this point. The thing is, if you're going to do this, you got to be real about it. you got to, like, actually be in there and answering questions. A lot of this shit is just PR. Like, they'll for sure. appear. And, yeah. Like, they leave one stupid response, and they don't know how dumb they look when they do that. Right. Um, and all the comments in this thread were just about what a piece of shit he is. I mean, this is the top comment. 
Hey James, you won't remember me, but me and my friend sat at a table next to you and Harry Styles, plus some in the uh, Manchurian Legends in London's Chinatown about six years ago. We didn't bother you, but you are a massively entitled C-word, see you next Tuesday, who yelled and treated the wait staff like shit. And when one of my par party politely suggested you calm down, you got really aggressive and threatened in a chubby way like a boozy panda. <laughs> <laughs> So my question is this, why did Harry seem so cool while you were such a massive throbbing bell end? You know that was written by an English person. Yeah. Um, they're all like this. James, I haven't the faintest idea of who you really are, but Reddit assures me you're an asshole. <laughs> so as a professional asshole, are bidets worth it? Or is that some weird advertising craze going on where people talk about spraying their asshole with water? My concern is that, you know, it would be spraying cold water around my balls and that would suck. Um, did he ever actually end up answering any of these questions? I'm sure not these questions. I'm sure he answered some questions down below. But that's the thing about the way Reddit works is the, the upvoted comments rise. And of course, all of these juicy ones are the ones that got to the top. So you probably have to dig to even find his replies. This the third comment is hey James is this story true? Uh, let's see Half an hour into a New York to London flight passengers in business class noticed a woman with a crying baby Being brought through the curtains by a flight attendant They looked on in mild horror as they saw the attendant direct her into an empty seat next to James Corden <laughs> That can't be true can it? That's Expect so funny. Expecting a huge celebrity his fit to kick off Corden's cabin mates were impressed to see that he didn't say a word or make any sort of complaint. He simply put on a pair of noise-canceling headphones, pulled an eye mask over his eyes, and turned from her in her sleep. Pretty decent of him, right? When the plane landed, though, passengers were surprised to see Corden remain seated as the one with the baby struggled to open the overhauled locker. And even more surprised when she turned to Corden and said, For fuck's sake, can you at least hold the baby while I get the bags down? The woman was his wife. The baby was his baby. <laughs> Bravo. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was really... That was something, man. <laughs> they says, um, is it true? And follow up, did you hold the baby in the end or did you expect your wife to do everything? <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's a lot. But, God, can you imagine being hated by everyone? I mean, people hate me, but, like, some people like me, I guess. Before all this stuff came out, people would always clown on him because he's always cast in movie musicals, and everyone's like, you're not good enough to be cast in these. Like, stop saying yes to these projects. Like, you're just famous, and that's why you're in it. And I always felt so badly for him because it was like, they if you were offered him. your dream, you would yeah, say yes. Yeah, of course. And I always felt that way. And now that all of this is coming out, he is horrible in movie musicals, and we need well, to stop. Well, the cat on was honestly, it was so bad. It's like it's that, the what do you mean? cat was so bad. <laughs> he, him in prom was so bad. He hosted the Tonys, which Loki like, it was fine, but people, it, there was an wow. outrage. Oh my God! I saw a clip yesterday that blew my tits off. Oh my god, that is just horrific. What do you mean? <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, look up, uh, here, pull up a clip of um, James Corden arguing with Sir Patrick. Oh, yes. What's his name? Yes, I Captain, saw this. Captain Picard. Sir Patrick Stewart? Pa yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, so... Hell no, he didn't come for my so boy, cringe. did he? It's so it's uncomfortable. Both oh, of them came for each other. Fuck no. During an award ceremony, they start arguing with each other. It's unbelievable. It wasn't shtick? No, no, no. You'll mm. see. It is not shtick, bro. Here it is. Check this shit out, man. James Corden and Patrick Stewart clash at awards. Who care? Yo, by the way, I don't care if Patrick Stewart's out of line. That motherfucker is a knight. That is Captain Bacard. He's the you captain of the USS that. Enterprise. He is Professor X. Yes. You put respect too. on that motherfucker's name. That's right. Yeah, that was... Well, hold on, Patrick. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, I gotta stop you there, uh, Sir Patrick. <laughs> Did the pit bulls come from Hershey's? 
That's a, that's a <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Lee. Lee it's an right old there. timey joke. <laughs> hey, come here, fatty. What happened? You eat the fuck? You eat the kitchen? Hey, come on. Oh, <laughs> Those pitbulls come from her. Jeez. <laughs> Hold it. Hey, are you a fan of Jonas Brothers? Then hide your belly. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yo, you guys down with this or what? It looks kind of dope. I'm kind of feeling it now. Yeah. You know... It's kind of a lo everything to me right now. It doesn't look bad from the side when I can't see the giant valley in the middle. When you look at me back. like this, the back is it's hard to take you seriously. <laughs> the back is legitimate, too. The profile <laughs> is like kind of like the curly mohawk. Not, Chat was saying don't hate should it. bedazzle the valley <laughs> that exists. Oh, brother. All right, let's continue this. This is great. Love me, Patrick. <laughs> they love my belly. Oh, that's brutal. They love me so much they take pictures of me scarfing down pizza on the... <laughs> put me in the tabloids. From one fat guy to another. Yeah, that, was, that was rough. Yeah, taxi that was ready, very uncomfortable. Please. They both look like assholes. They, Yo, yeah. Man, going home. Okay. Somehow it's tilting. Uh, I agree. Him. Yeah, like, yeah, he looks a lot worse in my opinion. But can I be honest? He's the host. He gotta keep it classy. Yeah. You can't start fighting people like that. I mean, that was just wild. Holy fucking balls, dude. Hey, damn, boy. Yo, Philip DeFranco be talking about Markiplier. I just want to know when we see his dick. Yo, Markiplier, show me your cock. Pussy. Pussy? <laughs> Are you talking all that shit? Pussy? What's a tasteful nude anyway? When your dick's just out of the zipper? And you're in a tuxedo? And just your dick's out of the zipper? Is that a tasteful nude? Printing pussy. He's wearing a tux. He's a, oh, I'm gonna do tasteful nude on OnlyFans. Right, no. He's wearing a tuxedo, mm -hmm. and only his dick is out of the zipper. Is that what you mean, Mark? You freak? His dick and balls are out. Oh, that, see, I was on the fence. I feel like the ball's out. That's, that's not tasteful. <laughs> that's not tasteful. Public nudity calls are interesting. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Mark. That is your real name. Nice. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, about James Corden. I'm actually, I opened the Reddit account where they posted the AMA. Mm -hmm. So, here's the comments. Yeah, they're all downvoted. Um, but I'm trying to see, so far nobody, James hasn't responded, it all says the other staff's name, like here it says Lauren, Kate. Well, I think the ones that don't say that are probably him, like so that, those right there. Oh, okay, so he did respond to, yeah. so Paul McCartney was my most exciting person I've worked with, he was so sweet to all the fans. No, but see, that, oh, one's, that, was that one's Lauren. Yeah, if you scroll down, there were some that didn't have a signature. No list of band songs. That's it? It's just, uh, he's answering the mundane shit about carpool karaoke. Two point. You know what I mean? Uh, Diana Miller's book, Our Carpool Karaoke, gets to popular segments. I don't think she has a problem with booking. Thanks. We all love Sir Paul McCartney. Yeah. No near accidents. We always drive very slowly. That's what I'm saying. You can't come here and give answers like that. You're just going to look like a dickhead. Yeah. And this is the publicist's fault, by the way. If you're going to be putting them on Reddit, you got to know better. You got to get them involved. And that's what I meant. I mean, how, how many years ago was this? This was three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, this was long after the infamous, like, Woody Harrelson one. Like, it, it's... It's got to be like a known thing among publicists that it's risky to do one of these. It's Reddit their animals. job. It's right. literally their job. Yeah. I, I. It's not my job, and I know that. Right. She should be. Whoever set this up should be fired. They probably were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I had he, to guess. <laughs> he didn't answer. Oh, here's another one. He answered. Apologies. Didn't mean to sound rude. Ah! What did he say? Wait, I need the full comment. He even sounds rude in the comments. I did full comment. Yeah, yeah, that just brings you to the comment section. You have to click, click context. Post. Yeah. There's another button that says context right to the left of full comment. Okay, context. Yep. Oh, Will James deleted. ever make another carpool karaoke with uh, Gordon Ramsay? Oh, shit. It's all been blasted. 
He said, apologies didn't mean to sound rude. This is Ryan. Oh, fuck. Get out of here, Ryan. Anyway, so that's a little background on James. So the story developing is that he was recently banned <gasps> from a New York City restaurant when the owner of the restaurant called him out on Instagram. Real he quick before you jump into it, we just got a super chat for five British pounds sterling. I served James Corden once at my old job, and all the claims of him being rude are 100% true. Dude, how can you be so insufferable of a dick that everybody that runs into you <laughs> has a bad experience? Holy fuck. Uh, Matt asked, just got off work, what is Ethan's hair? He looks like a prison bitch with peace and love. <laughs> that's what I am. That's what I've always been, bro. Nothing more, nothing less. So, Keith McNally, the owner of a restaurant in New York called uh, Balthazar, which I guess is a big deal there, posted on Instagram absolutely bombing on him, bro. This post went viral. It has 41,000 likes. This horrific picture. Where did, what is this boomer shit? You took a, that's a photo of a screen if I've ever seen one. One pixel. It is so funny. That's like my mom's style. Yeah, so this is all legit. Like, you always hear stories, you hear rumors. Here is the owner of a restaurant, a famous restaurant, by a famous re restauranteur who has banned him. Listen to this shit. James Corden is a hugely gifted comedian and a tiny cretin of a man. <clears throat> the most abusive customer to my Balthasar server since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. I don't often 86 a customer, but today I 86 Corden. It did not make me laugh. Here are two examples of the funny man's treatment of my staff. In June, James Corden was here on table 61. Although this is diabolical, it happens very occasionally in all restaurants. I didn't understand what he meant by that. 61, or is that just about 61 James? 61 is supposed to be like the bad table at a restaurant. Really? That's what someone said in the Twitter reply to this when they said, what does that mean? So I guess he got, sh he got put at a shitty table. After eating his main course, Corden showed the hair to Bal Balthazar's manager, G., who was very apologetic. Corden was extremely nasty to G and said, get us another round of drinks this second and also take care of all of our drinks so far. This way I write any nasty review on Yelp or anything like that. I guess he meant this way I won't write any nasty review. Bro, I, I mean, look, we've all had hairs in our food, but... Bro, how can you be such a douche? Like, I'm... I'm checking and saying that uh, that's the most desired table in the restaurant. Some of the most desired. 61. Uh, yeah. So he was hooked up. Yeah. So what do you mean? This what, was, yeah. That although this is diabolical, it happens very occasionally in all restaurants. Oh, like maybe we gave them great treatment. So he is very diabolical. And it happens, I guess, in all restaurants. Okay. We'll have to just uh, use our imagination on, on that one there, uh, Mr. Restaurantier. Um, manager report number two, James Corden was at our restaurant with his wife on October 9th for brunch. He asked for a table outside. Brunch maitre d' Ali Walkers took the party to table 301. Mr. Corden's wife ordered an egg yolk omelet with Gruyere cheese and salad. By the way, I never heard of an egg yolk omelet, have you? Usually I hear egg white. They yeah. was like, fuck the whites. I don't want any whites, all yolk. What is that like? Is that good? I've never heard of that egg yolk. It's kind of wild, bro. As it turns out, Table 61 at Balthazar doesn't carry any special meaning other than being one of the most desired seats in the house. 60, 61, and 62 are big red booths at the back of the restaurant. So is, I guess this restaurant's a big deal, eh? There's a mirror above 61 that gives occupants a panorama of the entire restaurant. Mm. So he was hooked up. So he's diabolical. Yeah, for being a, he got the best seat and yeah. being a moody bitch. Gooch. He's being a giant gooch. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on, his wife ordered an egg, I'm sorry, I'm just so confused, I'm so interested, egg yolk omelet. I want to see what, what does this look like, eh? Probably just like, 
yellow. Yep, I was right. Called it. <laughs> Fucking called it, dude. Bro, I love that. They're like, I want the just the I want the whites. No, just the yolk. <laughs> so his wife ordered an egg yolk omelet. A few minutes after they received the food, James called their server and told her there was a little bit of egg white mixed with the egg yolk. That is such a weird complaint. That is so fucking bizarre. Like I get, if it's white and it has yellow and maybe you're on a strict low cholesterol diet, but it's like you got some healthy shit and my fucking nasty <laughs> shit. I'm seeing this online a little bit too and I'm seeing it in the chats. Um, sometimes 61 means there could be hair or food. Uh, hair in your food when you order. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. bro, you gotta explain this better. We're 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 grasping yeah. at straws. Would he put that? I think it was a good it was a good uh, table based on the the news. Yeah, it definitely was a good table because I saw a New Bazaar. York Times article yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. So it is a good table for sure. But sixty one will could you that. could you even tell if there was a bit of egg white in your egg yolk omelet? Uh, James unless, can. Unless there was just like one little streak of white that they didn't mix it at all. Uh, so they explained that there's a little bit of white. They informed the floor manager the kitchen remade the dish, but unfortunately it was sent with home fries instead of a salad. <laughs> That's when James Corden began yelling like crazy to servers, You can't do your job! You can't do your job. Maybe I, I should go in, maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelet myself. Bro, you cannot be serious. <laughs> the server was very apologetic and brought him over uh, brought G over to the table. He returned the dish and after that everything was fine. He gave them promo champagne glasses to smooth things out. G said Corden was pleasant to him but nasty to the server. MK the server was very shaken, but professional that she is continued to finish her shift. Oh my god, diabolical, I'm so sorry, it refers to the hair and food, not the 61. Yes, it's like fucking solving the, uh, <laughs> what is it called? Yes, yes, we got it. So wait. 61 is a table, diabolical is supposedly code for the hair. Wait. It's like oh, the fucking Da Vinci code. Wait, Although this what? is diabolical, but he didn't even mention the hair yet. Although, it... No, he's saying diabolical, I don't know. He didn't even mention the hair though, it doesn't make any sense. What's the confusion? I stepped away okay. while you were it's covering this. So. You know what? We don't, it's fine. It's like, we don't need to go yeah. on about this. Okay. But anyway, um, <laughs> this is stuff you hear like happens in movies. Like this isn't real people behavior. Yeah. I um, I worked. I, I've talked about this on the show before, but I, I worked as a waiter for many years at a California pizza kitchen in the Valley here in Los Angeles. And the location that we were at um, happened to be in a very affluent neighborhood. So we had a lot of celebrity... Uh, uh, guests come in and you know the vast majority of them were always really pleasant I only had a couple incidents with famous people that were pulling this kind of stuff and um Did like this bad though um yeah <laughs> really <laughs> yeah do you remember any the one that always stands out to me one of the biggest fucking pricks who used to come in on a regular basis and it was always like nobody ever wanted to serve him and his family because it was just always a fucking thing was Scott Bayo. Scott Bayo. Yep. Exposed. That's Go ahead and skater? drop the T. No, no, no. He's an actor and uh Wait, let me pull up a photo of this motherfucker. You'll recognize him. Scott Beowulf. Scott Beowulf, that's right. And so what was so bad about him? It's just there was always there was always something and and you know, it, I I remember this dude that's him. That's this the guy. Got an ego. That's the guy. You look like that, and you got an ego. <laughs> well, he was right. like a heartthrob yeah, he kind of guy him. when he was younger. This motherfucker was a heartthrob. Should I need to go back in time and live then? <laughs> and I was in charge, baby. And Wait. you know what? Because uh, this was long yeah. before this era, but he turned out to be a big MAGA head, I believe. Surprise, surprise. Mm. Well, well, do you remember any specific incidents? <sighs> I mean, it, I, not really. I, I just remember it, it, he was known to the staff because, again, he was somewhat of a regular. He would come in once every couple Good weeks tipper? or something. No, not at all. Wow. And there was always a problem with their food. They would send it back all the time. Uh, 
you know, being really fucking <laughs> rude to the servers, and yeah, he was just, he was a prick. Fuck that guy. How about that, huh? Scott Bayo, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Certified asshole. Dude, once when I was a waiter, a lady, a customer asked me if I was, she goes, she points at her head, she goes, are you like, are you like here? That's what she said. She pointed at her head like, am I fucked in the head? Really? How mm -hmm. bad was your service, bro? <laughs> I literally just walked up and right behind her, one of my coworkers like spilled like hot tea and like was screaming. And like the whole restaurant was like gasping and looking over. I was looking over and that's when that somehow this lady didn't notice. And so I, as I was looking over, she asked me that. Good time. Ugh, yeah. You know, I, I worked in a restaurant for a long time. I never really had any really insane things that I can remember. I mean, the, the worst thing I remember is something I did, which was spill a glass of wine on a kid's head. <laughs> 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 Our beer, actually, was a full glass of beer. Oh, man. <laughs> did the parents get mad? Yeah, they were pissed. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, though, they weren't like, they weren't dicks about it, but they were super mad. They were we drank beer. They were honestly gracious enough. Right. And the best part that I kind of even feel bad about now, but it is what it is. They were a party over six, you know what I mean, Dan? Mm-hmm. Of course I know. Oh, yeah. So they tipped my ass. They didn't have a fucking choice. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Auto gratuity, baby. It was eight for us at our restaurant, though. Yeah, it might have been eight. I don't remember. But what happened is I had a big old tray of beer. <laughs> we had a tap, and it was, you know, I was serving the beers. Mm -hmm. And just like a fucking idiot loser... <laughs> It's the bear fell over right over this their, their son's head and psh, all over him. <laughs> he was crying. Oh no! Uh, they were pissed. Obviously, there's nothing you can do. I mean, you bring him a towel. I brought him some glasses of wine. Did the baby get drunk? I don't. I don't know. Wasted. Yeah, but it was awkward. Obviously, but I was like. Well, good thing this auto gratuity's on here. <laughs> These motherfuckers still <laughs> tipping my ass. <laughs> yeah, Scott Bayo really stood out to me because the vast majority of like the famous people that would come in, they were always really sweet. Even celebrities that I'm not necessarily that fond of, which always kind of made me feel bad. Well, like, like we had the Kardashians come in, uh, some of the sisters on a regular basis, and. Uh, they were always really polite and Get always tipped well. So shout Look, out to the Kardashians. If you're famous and you're a dick and and yeah, public, it becomes you have to be such a fucking maniac yeah. because you know that if you fuck around, people are gonna talk about it for sure. So to still have the chutzpah to do that means you are really fucked up. Indeed. So he, homie posted an update. The restauranteur took another uh, photo of a YouTube video. Like his last one. This one was this one, and then here. Oops. I just sent somebody super chat back in the chat. I meant to send it to you. Dave Grohl. <laughs> oh, what's up, Dave Grohl? Oh, no. Dave Grohl's Dave here. Grohl's here? <laughs> Dave Grohl's here. <laughs> Dave Grohl said he was an asshole during carpool karaoke. He said he'd never go back. Really? Apparently. I actually saw somebody say that earlier, too. Wait, can, is that one. in a video or just in an interview? Because there was a video. I'd love to see it. Dave Grohl was another one that used to come into our restaurant. The he goat. was super fucking. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he was the awesome. Goat. I saw Dave Grohl at uh, in Woodland Hills when we lived there at the mall. That was, that was where my restaurant. It was around there. So was it that outdoor mall there? Uh, the Topanga Mall. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah, used that, to be. A, yeah, that's where I saw him and his family walk. I worked at that one and the one over in Encino and. Both of those areas have quite a few. He lives in Encino. Why would he live in Encino? He's got a. It's a nice ass area. Bitch. A lot of it's a lot so of celebrities live there. I would just think if you're like super rich, you would live. The Encino one was where the Kardashians used to come in too, because I, I think that well now they're in Calabasas, but I think at the time they were in Encino. I don't know if I was as rich as him, I would choose to live like in a in West LA where it's not a thousand degrees every day. He's got a, <laughs> a, a bitch in like a state he bought and he like converted the back lot into like a studio. Like it, it's a dope fucking house. Yeah, there's there are some insane properties in Encino. And until I, I don't think this is true anymore, unfortunately, but for a long time the valley was much you can get a much nicer place in the valley than West LA. It's still cheaper. It's, it's still a it's lot still cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. A lot I mean it's it's just all super expensive now. Yeah. Damn look at that part, bro. I can't stop. You have not been able to stop touching your hair. How far oh, is that? So, like, it's just been a constant. It's like a bowl cut. Fire, bro. 
So David Grohl said Let's that see. in a article interview. Yeah, he didn't read the it. quote. I uh, let's see. Made him a little uncomfortable trying to find the actual the whole thing, but that's what he said. I'm sure he was a little bit more polite than saying he is an ass, but yeah. you can yeah. read between the lines kind of thing. It was clear also during their carpool karaoke that he was having a bad time because James, really? yeah, J uh, Dave Grohl would be like, just sing the fucking song, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and apparently like quoted in that video, he says, his face makes it worse. I don't want people to actually think that the song sounds like that. Oof. Anyway, here's the update from the restauranteur, Keith McNally. James Corden just called me and apologized prof profusely. Having fucked up myself more than most people, I strongly believe in second chances. So if James Corden lets me host his late, late show for nine months, I'll immediately rescind his ban. No, of course not. But anyone magnanimous enough to apologize to a deadbeat layout like me and my staff doesn't deserve to be banned from anywhere, especially Balthazar. So come back to the five and dime, Jimmy Corden. Jimmy Corden, all is forgiven. What a guy. Hold it. Still dragged his ass to fucking hell, though. <laughs> Publicly. Sounds like Jimmy Lee's nicer than Jimmy Corden. <laughs> Jimmy would never. Jimmy would never. Jimmy would never. Where's your papers? <laughs> He's, yeah, he's, he's definitely done that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't insult the uh, servers. Hey, he on, just I insults the busboys, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, hey, the hey, kitchen hey, staff. Hey, hey busboy, can I get extra ice? No, 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 not that ice. That border agent. We gotta <laughs> deport you. Oh! hey oh! It's an old-timey joke. <laughs> Cameron, take your glasses off. You're making a spectacle of yourself. He's not even wearing glasses. <laughs> That's a Jimmy joke. That's a Jimmy joke. That's just an old timey joke. <laughs> that would be a right on hey, point for this Jimmy. Is a Jimmy joke. Hey, what's up, you fat cow? Lose some weight. You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, hey. you suck. Everyone hates you. <laughs> gonna You're gonna die alone, bitch. <laughs> hey, hey, it's just jokes. I'm gonna get a million text messages from him now. What yeah. do you say about me on the show, guys? I I've been getting a lot of um. Steve Rossi? Emails from him. From Steve Rossi or from, from Jimmy Lee? I both. Uh, yeah, both. <laughs> Still, I think I got banned. Yeah, I got banned. This is oh. so funny. Hateful behavior. It's fucking incredible. Every, like 100% of the time. I oh, it said, no, no, no. This time we got banned for adult nudity and sexual activity. It's literally just a shot. <laughs> sitting here. Adult it's too hot. Just, it's too damn hot. It's so funny, man. You know, the you, naked dome. You know what I just thought of, and I would love to see, is a carpool karaoke with Jimmy Lee. The two of them in a car together. <laughs> Easy to think of. Dude, the first segment I ever suggested when I got hired was a carpool karaoke with you guys. And then I found out Zach's longtime dream has been a carpool... Car what is it? Karaoke with the clients. Karaoke, karaoke with, the with the clients. We need to do it. Wait, who would I do? But I, you have to be a good singer to do that, don't you? To be a carpool karaoke? I think James Corden did it. He, you and he Trisha did it. Voice. We, yeah. we literally did that on the show. He could hit the yeah. notes, but yeah. like Dave Grohl's thing was like, you don't sound good singing my songs. He literally said, this is the last one. And Grohl said, promise? Oh my God. Is, <laughs> is Dave being a dick? I don't know. That sounds kind of dickish. No, Corden was being pretty obnoxious. I mean, he has a track record. Dave Grohl's like the nicest guy. That's rock. what I hear. Yeah. yeah. So. We blame James. We love you, Dave. Shout out, Dave. Uh, let's see. Well, basically, well, there's a few other stories here, but I mean, it's got to be about three hours, right, Dan? We're at 2.40, so yeah, we could wrap it up. 2.40, huh? 2.40. We could do a little longer then. It's a short episode for us, because nobody does it like us. Nobody. The fuck goes live for two hours, 40 mm -hmm. minutes on a podcast and says that's a short episode. Nobody but us. Five times a week. And I'm not on that top list. We need to get on the top list, like for real. What the one, the audio one, like the Spotify one? Is that what you're talking Spotify, about? Spotify, the Apple one. Apple, yeah. It's my top five. <laughs> is? Is Drake, 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 Drake? <laughs> I was like just converting, you know. I was being tongue in cheek with it. I don't know. I know, but it's just it. It, it would have bothered me, like right, like right, an OCD right. kind of thing, if I don't hear the second it's, part of that sound. It's bite. like their chord resolving. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly that. I don't know how we're gonna get on those top lists because I, oh, I don't, even fucking Hassan ate that onion, bro. Hassan texted me, "Did Dan quit?" 
Yo! <laughs> He's the first non-boomer. That's kind of strange. Well, a lot of our audience believed it, too. I mean, I don't know. It's not very I think he girthy. Cares, just cares. Did we do a poll to see who believed it and who didn't in chat? I don't think we did. Would you like to do that, Ethan? I'm, I'm curious. Would that be a good poll? That would be a good poll? Would that be a good poll? Would that what? be a good poll? I didn't hear the question. I believe it. Do you want to poll the audience to see if they ate the onion on the quitting thing? What percentage of the audience well, believed it's it? It's like, yeah, we can do the poll, but it's like... He thinks it's a bad poll. The people poll. that just see the title and then, I don't know, it's, it's, it's funnier. Who cares what you believe? I'll yeah, tell I'll tell his son yes, and then let's see if... No, no, no. no he can be here tomorrow morning. He's going to be like, all right, I quit too then. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see the without Dan. Pull out. Did you believe Dan really <laughs> quit? Bad yes. poll. Shut the fuck up, Cam. <laughs> Sorry, Cam. <laughs> Love you, Dan. I know you're too you're too sweet. I feel bad. Yes. I'm not sweet. Yes, you're, you are. you're sweetheart. My my, I found out my alter ego. You guys can call me Switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking cool, that's man. My, that's my Lou. Shit. Did we ever explain that is like, rad uh, as fuck? Did we ever explain that they shut the fuck up, Cam? Meme. I don't know if we to the audience, but like the food. I think we mentioned oh, it okay. before, but yeah. Cam, Cam is always very timid when he's seeing if he can get any food when we're ordering food, and so. Well, that was before I had a mic and and I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's do the poll. When we uh, did you believe Dan uh, was really quitting? Yes, or no? Switchblade. I love Switchblade. Thanks. <laughs> Start calling you that. Some people call it Switchblade. I call it Cam <laughs> Some people call it Switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> Did you believe Dan was really quitting? And the t oh, see, seventy percent said no. Okay. Okay. Bunch of wise guys here, huh? Yeah, they're on to us. Well, we'll see how many people care, how many views this gets. Defend uh, will prove how much people care. Uh oh. Ha, got mole him. If Dan did quit, the mole people would invade the surface, says Rory. Oh, that's our mole man. Thanks for the dono, Rory. Rory's uh, always hitting us with fat donations about the mole yeah, people. That, He's very man. insistent about it. Thank you, Rory. All That's right, real. guys. I'm going to call it a day. We'll be here tomorrow morning for another great episode of Leftovers. Um, that's it. We got, we got a great show tomorrow and on Friday. So uh, stay tuned. Do you want to... Um, we kind of know what we're talking about tomorrow. Do you want to tease it at all? What are we talking about tomorrow? We're doing we're doing a midterm elections like rundown oh, yeah. special. People are saying Hassan is mad. What do you mean? I'm watching his live right now. But he's mad. He's responding to your text. What? Because his ass ate the onion. Well, it's, did you just tell him that it's true? No, I said it's no. I said <laughs> oh, no, okay. I thought you. <laughs> he said. I literally just said, "Lol, nah, it's just a goof." He said, "Jesus Christ, I was so sad." <laughs> oh hey, well, that's nice. <laughs> Shout out, son. Love you, man. Literally so Dan, lying. Dan loves you for that. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All right. Guys, see you tomorrow for Leftovers. Yeah, we're going to do... Um, the midterms are coming up, so we're going to do a big midterm super show. Uh, and we're going to get real political on you. Uh, and also but have a laugh at the same time. You know what I mean? Right? Right. Right. Oh, next week on Leftovers, we have uh, Channel 5, Andrew Callahan's joining us. Next week, though, not tomorrow. Well, I want to ask him, you know? He's got a lot coming up, a lot going on. Uh, fuck my head, dude. I got to stop touching it. Like, I just <laughs> it's been, you it. have not stopped for almost three hours. Fuck. Yeah, don't, my head is don't getting talk like, too much. <laughs> my head is getting um like tender for me touching <laughs> it. Though. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow morning. We love you. Have a great week.